sleep on the holes in my shoes. I stick my tongue in the holes in my teeth. I stick expletives in the holes in my thought process when I speak. My friends stick to their guns, they got a bunch in the woods of Vermont till the end times come. But Saturn says he's gonna learn to live as if the world gonna do my best to drink coffee in the morning and live as if I didn't feel lonely and hopeless and helpless to save myself for the world where I live and tonight when I dream it will be that the junkies spent all the drug money on community gardens and collective housing and the punk kids who moved in the Potholes collecting garbage To prove we don't need governance To do these things And I'll wake up Burning Times Square as we sing Throw your hands in the air property is robbery Give it 
up tall My meth is madness and all the luck to do what I got to To be able to breathe If you can quit your job then you can do a little breathing with me A punk rock star won't ever change the world But I can tell you about a couple that changed me And so tonight we're gonna fuck shit up Tonight we're gonna fuck shit up Tonight we're gonna fuck shit up Oh yeah, oh yeah
I swear that someday I'll tell you without lying I was born to quit smoking I was born to quit dying On that day, not doing the heroin Will be easy as pissing On that day, I'll stop talking so much shit about the government Cause urine speaks louder than words On a politician or on a prison warden Urine speaks louder than words It's Bart Policeman. It's B E a B A R T Caboose. Hundred percent. I I can tell you personally. It's 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 Bart Policeman. Um God damn contacts. All right. <clears throat> Let's just get this out of the way. Let's start there. Um, because this stream title is gonna pull in fucking people all night long. We're gonna do a gaming stream again tonight. Um, Caboose, uh, fucking, uh, Cat and myself are going to play some Seven Days to Die. Again, if you have Seven Days to Die and you want to play, you're more than welcome to join us. Uh, but let's get some of the politics out of the way. Vosh finally, t uh, finally telling people to, um, telling, uh, the LGBT, the Lugabrita, um, telling the Lugabrita, uh, community to arm themselves. Fucking, uh, Vosh finally having a base take, um, though he probably stole it from somebody who fucking knows. He doesn't seem to have too many original ideas of his own. Um, and Destiny, of course, denying that, um, there's really any harm coming towards, uh, the LGBT community. Um, and, uh, the, the, there's no genocide in challenging Vosh to a $25,000 charitable donation. If in five years, the, the gay community, the LGBT, um, the community, um, has faced any sort of genocide, even though, um, there is, uh, like more than enough evidence to show that it already has, um, fucking, so, you know, good on Bosch, I suppose, for finally having a blah, blah, blah. Um, Destiny can go fuck his stupid liberal fucking face. I don't know what he can. He can just fuck off. I, I, I have no room for Destiny in this world. Um, fucking. And um, Bo, the fifth column. Yeah, literally being genocided right now. Uh, Bo the fifth column. I had no idea he was a racist fuckhead. I had no idea he was such a fucking apologist. Um, fucking, 
I, I had no idea. Apparently, this has been going on for quite some time. I had no idea Bo the Fifth Column was such a fucking dumb fuck history. Like, he apparently knows of this history, too. Because so if you don't know what I'm talking about, apparently Bo the Fifth Column has merch that says Rule 303. He has he wants to name his ranch Rule 303. For those of you who don't want, know what Rule 303 is, it's um, Rule 303 is essentially named after a fucking thing uh, around um, uh, Harry Morant. Fucking, it's 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 a rifle caliber. Well, yeah, L, he is. I'm sorry. Like, if he's gonna use Rule 303 as for his merch and for his ranch, yes, yes. Rule 303 is born of Harry Morant. Harry Morant uh, fought for. He was an Anglo-Australian who fought for the British Empire in South Africa. Right, he fought for the expansion of the British Empire in South Africa, the founding of what would become Johannesburg, the founding of the uh, the Cape Colony. Right, he literally was executed by the British Army for summarily executing prisoners. Because keep in uh, keep in mind, like fucking a. Oh well, fucking see, viva. I just found out about it. I had no idea Bo was such a f- piece of fucking shit. I had no idea. I had no idea that he was defending colonizers who literally helped set up ca- concentration camps for fucking kids. I had no idea. I had no idea Bo, uh, Bo the Fifth Column was a racist garbage human being. Oh no, he just summarily executed fucking pe- uh, uh, um, free staters. That's all. And helped uh, and helped support an empire who was setting up concentration camps. Yeah, he militarily provided aid and comfort and support for an empire who was actively killing tens of thousands of children. Fuck off with that shit. Fuck off with that shit. You might as well have shoot a darky in the face ranch. Fuck that. Fucking Morant was a garbage human being who got a bee in his bonnet because his favorite captain got fucking shanked. And so he went on a crusade to try and cleanse the earth of the boars. Fuck Bo. Fuck Morant. Fuck anybody who's about to fucking defend Rule 303. Fuck you. Fuck them. Fuck all of you. Oh, no, no, no. Beast. They killed him because he killed prisoners. The, the British literally said if he hadn't taken them prisoner, he wouldn't have been executed. It's because he took them prisoner and then killed them. True story. True story. Yeah, that's, 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 a, that's really the reason. The British Empire was like, man, why'd you take him fucking prisoner? Yes. That's where the British Empire drew the line. Was you took him prisoner? You should have just shot him. Yeah, he he literally got a bee in his bonnet because his fucking captain got uh, got shanked by the Boers because well the Boers were running a guerrilla war because they were up against the British Empire in the region. Meanwhile, they're literally setting up concentration camps for full of Africans and Afrikaners, right? T- to the tune of tens of thousands of children, something like twenty four thousand children dead in the concentration camps that they set up. And this guy's fighting on their side. This guy's fighting on their team. Rule 303 is all born of Breaker Morant. Henry, Harry, uh, Harry Breaker Morant, because he was so good with horses or whatever the fuck. <clears throat> apparently, Bo has been addressing this, and apparently he defends and continues to use it. I, I, I don't know why anybody tolerates this. Imagine if I had merch that said, sometimes you gotta hang a darkie ranch. Rule, sometimes you gotta shoot a darkie in the face. Rule, sometimes you got to put down an insurrection against your empire. Right? Like, that's what this shit's about. Occasionally, rule, occasionally you got to oppress the people at the imperial level. Fucking number. So, fuck all these people. Fuck Bo, fuck Destiny. And you know what, Vosh? Get your own fucking opinion for once. Uh, Bo must know his audience. It's a bunch of people okay with kid killing. 
Yeah, US is a bunch of people good, okay with kid killing. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Um, I forgive me. I had no idea Bo the Fifth Column was such a piece of shit. Didn't know. I mean, I knew the human trafficking. Right? I knew, it, like, you know, I knew that we forgave the human trafficking. I know that he's committed, like, war crimes and shit because he was a soldier. Right? Like, how how are we tolerating this person? How is he allowed to speak, even, at this point? Right? Like, why, why is Bo of the Fifth Column even a fucking thing? Oh, Akka, you didn't know Bo of the Fifth Column had been charged with human trafficking and it was associated with human traffickers? Oh, yeah. Wasn't he more Merc than Soldier? Co draw your fucking semantical distinctions yourself. What do you want me to say? What the fuck do you want? You've got my attention now, Camnibus. You've got my full undivided attention, Cannabis. I'm on a full-on rant where I am angrily focusing on people, and you have complained that I ha I'm not uh, paying attention to you. Well, congratulations. You have my full undivided attention, Camnibus. What the fuck do you want? What's your fucking deal? Ask a fucking question. What's your point? Do you have something to contribute to the conversation? The whole room's looking at you now, Camnibus. What's up? What kind of fucking dumbass question is that? How about you? You know how your mom told you there's no such thing as a stupid question? Yeah, that was a stupid comment by your mom. There are such things as stupid questions. You can clearly tell how I am. So, why don't you contribute something valuable to the conversation, or at least something semi-productive to the conversation? Yeah, Kvass, Kvass, Camnibus is all yours. Have fun. Anyway, so between, you know, Vosh getting attention for a take that the rest of the gay community and the firearms community has been making for, oh, I don't know, all of our lives, right? And Destiny out there actually fucking, what's up, Alex? And Destiny out there fucking saying, oh, it's not that bad. Don't worry about it. The gay community's fine. You're not facing a genocide at all. Fucking, you know, you're, it's all overblown, right? At least Vosh is out there fighting this idiot, right? Like, at least Vosh is out there fighting this idiot. I'll give credit to where credit's due for Vosh. Like, at least he's telling Destiny to shut his stupid fucking mouth. I wish Vosh would get on fucking, get on the page quicker for a lot of shit, but that's okay. Still, still like you, my brother. But fucking, like, Destiny needs to shut the fuck up. Like, straight up. Hassan needs to take his private jet over to an island, island where we never have to hear from his stupid ass again. And Bo needs to sit down, shut the fuck up, and never be heard from again. Straight up. Take your human trafficking, fucking mercenary, war crime committing, fucking British Empire supporting ass, and fuck off. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm sick and tired of dealing with fucking morons. I'm sick and tired of dealing with fucking... Wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Morons. I'm sick and tired of dealing with fucking white, moderate liberals that are furthering the goals and agendas of fucking all of the boot-stepping, boot-licking, authoritarian fuckheads on this planet. Gay people, arm yourselves. I bought, gu uh, I bought gays for, uh, gunsforgays.net. Um, um, and lgbtguns.com. Um, dude, I'm going to talk to my fucking stepdad. We'll see if we can't get some shit going. Um, I want to sell guns to the gays. But yeah, the bow thing, I had no idea. 
you you fuckers that are like you know um bo's been doing this for a while oh i'm sorry i had no idea the garbage human beings you fuckers are watching apparently i had no idea you fuckers were watching just imperialistic cocks forgive me that's a garbage human being. We gave him the pass on the human trafficking. He already got one pass off the human trafficking. Holy shit, man. How many fucking passes do you get in your life? Fucking working as a goddamn merc. Working, fucking getting, hanging out with human traffickers. And then fucking I find out that he runs rule 303. Jesus fucking Christ. Fuck this guy. Jesus fucking Christ. People. Stop. Even viewing his content. I mean, dude lives in the South. Yeah, who would have guessed? Who would have guessed he's a Southerner? Hmm. Who would have guessed the guys that's okay with like some imperialism and then some apartheid is, is Southern? I'm shocked. I'm really shocked. Really, it is. It caught me so off guard. Jesus fucking Christ. Enough with these people. Enough with these fucking people. It's a caliber. It's a caliber. Puka. It's a reference to the caliber rifle that Morant carried. So it's, it's in essence, if you completely ignore who Morant was and what Morant was doing in Africa at the time and why he was fighting the fight he was fighting, if you completely ignore all of the context surrounding it, the argument is that rule 303 is with, you have the ability there, you have the responsibility. Right? If you have the ability to change or fix a situation and you don't, that is a failing on your part. If you have the ability, you have the responsibility. But again, but again, if you completely ignore the context, if you completely ignore the situation, the historical context of where that rule comes from, fine. That's fine. That's fine. It makes perfect sense, right? Rule 303. If you have the ability, you have the responsibility. But it comes from a dude who was literally on an imperial conquest in South Africa, murdering people who were fighting for their free state next door because Britain wanted all of the gold there. And while they're in the region, Britain is setting up concentration camps to the tunes of tens of thousands of people in which tens of thousands of children are historically killed. Through disease and neglect, malnutrition, and execution. So, like, you know, uh, Morant, M O R A N T. Uh, you look for Breaker Morant or Harry Morant. Yeah, that's, that's, that's who you're after, commodity. And he's become a folk hero in Australia. You know, Australia, that place, that place that is super not racist. Right, like the, the 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 place Australia, you know, the place that they treat the indigenous population, is so insanely well treated. Right, that that's that the Australians don't have any legacy of of racist imperial co colonizer conquest going on. Right, yeah, not whatsoever. I, yeah, had no idea Bo was such a garbage piece of shit human being. Fuck him. Fuck everything that falls out of his mouth. Yes, Aka. Yes. Bo the fifth column is associated with human trafficking. Yes. It's crazy, huh? And yet people watch him. I don't get it. I don't get it. So, Vosh... Even if you have been saying this for some time and people are telling me that you are, you have been, I will give the benefit of the doubt. Vosh, still, for those of us that have been on this team for our entire fucking lives, welcome, recent newcomer. Congratulations. Yes, continue advocating that gay people should own more guns. Not liberals, by the way. Frankly, I don't want the liberals armed. Um, at this point, I'm a little annoyed with the liberals. Um, yeah, you're welcome, commodity. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little annoyed with the fucking liberals. And frankly, I think they probably would side with the fucking fascists. So I'm not sure if we can trust them with a gun. Um, 
fucking so like Vosh, welcome to the team. Congratulations. Fucking um <laughs> um you know, welcome. That's I, I know Vosh watches. I know he does. We know he does. Like we've got evidence of it. Right? Like so Vosh, thank you. Welcome. Fucking it'd be great if you threw a fucking shout out from time to time. Um, but at the end of the day, fucking, you're still a Johnny come lately to this argument. It just is what it is. Um, Destiny, Destiny, go fuck yourself. Destiny, just literally go fuck yourself. Like, honestly, Destiny needs to shut up, go back to playing StarCraft, and never say another word again. He is fucking absolutely just garbage like most liberals like most liberals destiny would help would help goose step us into an authoritarian regime oh nothing don't worry about it queers nothing's going on i don't know what you're talking about fucking oh there's no genocide fuck you destiny he might be too busy fucking lauren southern to fuck himself that is true that is true he does seem to like fucking authoritarian white ethno nationalist christian evangelical pussy doesn't he Fucking A. Meanwhile. Yeah. Oh, he defends her. She defends him. There's definitely some sort of relationship going on there between Destiny and uh, Lauren Southern. Don't know what it is. I'm sure she uh, straps on uh, straps on him. The camps are just so you meet more people like you. Yeah. I, I woke up to just like insane garbage takes today. Like, I woke up to fucking seeing Rule 303 video posted in the comments by uh, for, for, from fucking Bo. I don't watch these garbage human beings, right? Like, I'm sorry, I don't watch these garbage human beings. So I'm not aware that Bo, that Bo of the fucking 90th column fucking has been goose-stepping his way around some, like, insanely fucking, like, racist colonial shit and merching it. Literally creating merch out of it. Fucking shirts. Rule 303. Bo of the fifth column. What? How has this been going on for more than three minutes? It's insane. What the fuck? How are you? Why are you? Who fucking? Okay. Okay. Cool. To what, Kenzai? To what? So people have been spreading Bo's videos and encouraging people to watch Bo of the Fifth Column videos since 2015 or 2016, knowing full well that he wants to, he merches, he merchandises and wants to name his ranch after a dude who is a full-blown racist colonizer in South Africa who was known for killing Afrikaners and Africans at the behest of the gold-hungry British Empire. I gotta tell you, that doesn't make me think wonderful things about some people. Yeah. That's concerning. That's concerning. I, I, I don't want to say beyond that. This dude's scanning Harry Morant, of all people. Like, I, you might as well... Oh, by the way, guys, I'm setting up an, uh, a new uh, ranch locally. Um... He address. I don't care how many times he fucking addresses it. Change the fucking name. 
Hi guys, I'm setting up a leftist uh, a leftist retreat here. We're gonna it's gonna be a place for LGBT people, indigenous people, people of color. It's called the Trail of Tears. Ma um, beat Ma um, Matthew Shepard was uh, they what they did to Matthew Shepard was right ranch, right? Like, what the fuck? I don't care how many times you address it. Yeah, yeah, come on down to Auschwitz Rants. What? Alex. Fucking Alex, I said the, the only thing I can compare it to do is like uh, fucking sometimes you got to lynch a darky ranch. Right? Like what the fuck, man? How how is anybody tolerating this? How is anybody tolerating this? How did fucking every single one of his videos should fucking have a, just the comment section being like, what's up, Goebbels? Killed, a, killed an indigenous person today? Have you, uh, have you stolen gold from any, any Africans le recently? Like every single fucking comment should be that. Like, holy shit, you are making light of you're not only making light, you're profiting from. He is profiting from it. He's profiting from it. He's addressed it multiple times. Has he stopped making money off it yet? Does 100% of his proceeds go to like, I don't know, some farmer community in Africa? Because like, how is any of this tolerable? How is it tolerable for seven years? What the fuck is wrong with people? <laughs> what the fuck, man? I should never hear his name again. Bo of the fifth column should just be full on hashtag canceled. How is Bo of the fifth column not full on hashtag canceled? Of all the crazy woke scoldy shit. That fucking you could hammer somebody for. How is nobody hammering him for this shit? Most of the right libertarians that now grift as anarchists share and promote Bo. Never trusted any of them. Dude. Dude. I'm still like I had, you know, fucking. Yeah. Because apparently he's been doing this for years. Hey, what's up, Salvisor? Salvasser, sorry, <laughs> fucking added an I where it doesn't belong with her. Um, Salvasser, um, I just read about Matthew Shepard, dear Lord. Yes, yes. I, I, I don't know, like, I don't have a fair comparison here. I don't know what I could call a ranch. He wants to call his ranch 303 Ranch. He wants to name it after this shit. Like, What? Oh, welcome to Trail of Tears Ranch. Welcome to Auschwitz Ranch. Welcome to fucking Kill Matthew Shepard Ranch. Like, what on earth? If if I if I didn't understand the historical context, right? And somebody was like, uh, Kai, you're gonna name your ranch after some really, really fucked up shit. Right? And you showed me that story, and you showed me the context to that. The first thing I'd be like is Oh my God, I fucked up so epically. Like my, my first thought would be like, oh, we got to change that name. Not defend it. You don't fucking defend that name. You don't fucking tap dance. You don't try to fucking come out and add context to it. You run from that fucking name as fast as possible. Holy shit, man. Like, how do you... How do you decide to hang on to such a fucked up name? Puka, yeah, tone deaf. I mean, Jesus, like it, it's just deaf. I mean, it's dude, this is some like Helen Keller level shit. Like, holy fuck, man. Oh, I know Viva, that makes it so much worse. So much worse. That means everybody who watches him is tacitly in support of, like, all that evil shit. Just so you know. I, I really do consider that at this point. Like, sorry. Sorry. How do you sit there and watch this dude? Like, this isn't even fucking, like... I can't even think of somebody comparable. This is some, like... Roman Polanski-level shit? 
It's more about Bo than fucking Destiny. 303 Ranch is just up the road on the right. You'll see the big backwards Hindu symbol on the gate. Nice, red wine. Nice. Funky, maybe. Yeah, right? Like, oh. Che, bow of the fifth column. Oh, Viva, fucking dude. I've been going for hours. I've been going for hours, Viva. I've been going for fucking hours, man. Between Destiny fucking downplaying the, the shit storm coming for the uh, community, especially in America, and, you know, Vosh finally fucking, yeah, maybe he's been doing it for a few years. Well, welcome to somebody who's been gay and been a firearms owner for his entire fucking life, basically. Welcome to the fucking party, Vosh. Right? It's like naming it after fucking Reinhard Heydrich. Um, yeah, know any less problematic Australians worth uh, more worth remembering? I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. Aspen, good to know my instincts about Bo are correct. Yeah, he's a garbage human being. He's a garbage human being. Oh, no, 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 Viva, like, literally, I've been in VC, and fucking, I was in the commons, and, like, as soon as I saw that video, as soon as I saw that video, yes, because this is an Australian accent, is it now? Um, fucking, yeah, as soon as I saw that video, because, again, I don't watch these shit human beings, I'm sorry, I don't watch these fucking people, right? Like, I have better things to do with my life than watch these people. And so, yeah, I had no idea that Bo of the Fifth Column had been fucking literally merching. He'd been fucking merchandising some crazy-ass colonizer shit. No idea. Holy fuck, man. And by the way, Vosh is right. I mean, you know, he's fucking late to the party as far as I'm concerned. I've been living this life for fucking ages, but, you know, welcome to the fucking team, I guess. Every single gay person in America, fucking queer. Every queer person in America should be fucking strapped. Route, uh, 30, uh, Ranch 303 is on Route 88. If you pass Joseph Mengele Hospital, you went too far. Apparently, I look Australian. Interesting. I'll take that. I like Australians. Um, yeah, Beast. Again, welcome to fucking... Welcome to the party, Vosh. Right? Welcome to the fucking party. Apparently, he still doesn't own any, by the way, Beast. This is... This is... He's again... He's not really... Right? Like, he's talking about it, but he's not actually doing it. Talk to me when Vosh is actually strapped. Talk to me when Vosh is like, yeah, you know what? Okay, here's what you need to do. Here's the fucking, you know. He's advocating for it, but he's not doing it. Which is telling. A fucking. Does he? Because I've been told today he doesn't. He had a pistol? Okay, cool. It's about fucking time then. How does one know what Australians look like, but not how they sound? Um, he's, I can't believe he's shown a pistol and a rifle on stream. I mean, that, bad move. Bad move. It was within the last week. All right. Holy shit. Yeah. I don't like my Mini 14. Whatever. Again... Having a firearms dick measuring contest with me is like, you're going to lose. You're going to lose. You're going to lose. Um, it's not against, it's not TOS. It's bad OPSEC, man. <laughs> he was, he's supposedly former black block. Showing your firearms on stream is not great OPSEC. <laughs> I 
Aspen. Uh, hi, I has gun. Yeah, that's not a good fucking idea. It's terrible OPSEC. Like, good on him for finally getting off his fucking ass and getting some. But you don't fucking show him on stream. And you don't tell people exactly what you own. Never do that. <laughs> Please share fun with chat. So. That is what I've, I will say on the matter. Vosh, welcome to the fucking team finally. Destiny, go fuck yourself. I hope to never hear your name again or another word from your stupid fucking mouth. Um, and Bo of the fifth column. Hey, um, I got some places in Africa that you can move to if you're such a fan of things uh, of the his history that went down there. I'm sure you'll fit in just fine. Bo also said soft power wasn't imperial. <laughs> Again, I, Bo is a garbage human being and buh, done. That's just beginning, middle, and end of the conversation. Mercenary, human trafficker, wants to name his ranch after a fucking British colonizer who fucking was executed for summarily executing prisoners and fighting the free states next door because the British Empire needed to expand and grab more gold. Right? Like, go fuck yourself. You're a garbage human being. Mm. Cricks. Mm. Interesting. Yes. Fucking fuck Bo of the fifth column. Honestly, like, what more do you have to say? He's a merc who fucking was involved with human trafficking and stands British colonization in South Africa or what would become South Africa. That's a garbage human being. Carpe comes through here all the time, uh, uh, Katrina. Uh, I'm probably going to call you Kaiju because we have a Karina and I can't, I'm just not. So I'm going to call you Kaiju. Sorry. Hope it works. Carpe comes through here all the time. Fucking, we're on well-speaking terms, fucking, but, like, yeah, we're gonna have a fucking conversation, he and I. Do I daily carry? There's, it, no, because I don't leave my house most days. There's no re reason, reason for me to leave my house most days. Um, do I carry? Yes. Like, I'm not fucking... <laughs> Hold on. Let me take it from my desk so I can go to the bathroom, right? Like, I'm not one of those dudes. But I am the son of a federal firearms uh, dealer who grew up with the regional uh, uh, Northeast Regional Bureau Director of the ATF, um, who would become the North, uh, Northeast Regional Bureau of the ATF. I've had tours of the lockup facilities at the ATF facilities. My mom was tapped for the Olympic shooting team. My family owned, uh, owned, uh, tr training facilities and ranges. I've trained with like Ignacio Piazza and I've trained with fucking seals. I've trained with like, I, I am steeped in gun culture, right? I, I grew up with this shit. I've tr I've taught classes myself, right? Like it, it's just welcome to the fucking team. Kenzai, because you don't know the history of, of the person involved in it, apparently. You need to look up he Henry Morant. Oh, sorry, Harry Morant. Jesus Christ. Fucking. Oh, Jesus, Burger Man. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. I don't feel like... Fight. There. Act like you are f already free. I'll give you your points back. Uh, M O. It's M O R A N T. Here, Kensai. 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 Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me hook you up with like a McGill fucking article. Here. Okay. And here, you need also need this Kensai because you need to know about the Second Boer War. Most Americans don't know about the Boer Wars. And it's not, I'm not saying B-O-A-R. I'm saying B-O-E-R. 
Most Americans don't even know what the Boers, who the Boers were, right? Like, this is so far and above most Americans' fucking historical knowledge that, like, we don't get taught any of this shit. British colonial conquest versus Dutch free staters in what would become South Africa? Yeah. We don't know shit about shit about shit about these. Yeah. See, never heard of the Boer War, let alone the second Boer War. Did you know there was two? You know, yeah. History class sounds like CRT. Yeah. Like, it, it just... What? Is this even a case if he did some good things so we can ignore the hand of shit? Oh, he's an Australian folk hero, Red. He's an Australian folk hero. They've... They, most of the stories are apocryphal about him at this point. If you actually get a historian to talk about this dude, they're like, most of the stories people tell are just apocryphal. They're false. They're just made up. He fucking, the dude made them up himself, a lot of them. Oh, he was, notor he was a notorious storyteller about himself. Yeah, he, he was the bastard child of like the rear admiral for the, for the British Navy. No, unsubstantiated. Right, like, yeah. He's he's a British he's an Australian folk hero. He's like Columbus type figure or Davy Crockett. Said, well, you, no, he's you know what? F mm, you know what? The Davy Crockett comparison may actually be fair. Yeah, the Davy Crockett comparison may actually be fair. <laughs> yeah. Fucking dude, this it just it boggles my fucking mind. Oh, it boggles my mind that people fuck Yes, I am an American. <laughs> Is my accent that fucking confusing for people? Yes, I am an American. Um, beast, 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 beast. All right, what's what? What's Beast and Aspen get up to? Oh fucking a! All right, I see. I see what you guys are up to. Oh my god! I I just I I can't! I can't! I can't! I. That's fair. You know what? You know what, Sage? That's fair. Unlike the previous person who was asking if I'm Australian, the Canadian thing is fair. Fair. Um, yeah. Between Destiny downplaying what's coming down the pike for, uh, for Liga Brita, um, no, you know too much to be American. <laughs> Thank you, Viva. Thank you. <laughs> when, when your knowledge disqualifies you from being American. <laughs> well, you don't have an Australian accent. <laughs> Welcome, Sage. Um, Amorous American. I thought you were Scottish. Yes, Che. Yes. Apparently because I look Australian. Don't ask me. Um, on, on the bright side, Tucker Carlson's bio is still unchanged with the, uh, the pronouns. Nice. All right. I will give Berger his reading. You know what? Fucking, I've got this, um, um, the, the contradictionary, um, uh, by, uh, by fucking, uh, what's their names? I f fucking always forget. Um, but crime think, crime think, um, I, I will read something. All right. This is a special bonus section that was put into the special edition that got published uh, this last time. It's hard to see, but this is like super like reflective, shiny. American, I thought you were Zimbabwean. Um, since everyone is claiming Kai, we are claiming his ancestry. We is in Albania or we is in Germany, Viva? <laughs> am, I, am, I, am I Albanian or German now? Because I'm already German. I already got the German in me, but you, you trying to shift me to Albania? So I'll take it. I'm gonna shit. It's just dead people's baggage anyway. Fucking Kai equals South African confirmed. Germany to fucking Viva. I'm already German. Like my father's side is completely German. Yeah. Mom's side is the um, American mutt. She's got like the the you know indigenous black fucking Scot Irish whole bunch of shit. Um, so, all right, uh, Burger Man, 
I'm still going to get you your points back. Um, or one of the mods, if you can do that. I don't fucking know if mods can do that or not. Fucking. But if you can do it, mods, and you're around, and you can just just reject all of the, 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 the point claims and just give them all the points back. Um, you cannot. Oh, Let's see. You should be able to. You should Let's be able see. to. It looks like it's already been done. Uh, Cupcake already handled it. Yeah, I was like, wait, it's clear. It's already been done. Um, okay. Burger Man, The Dishwasher's Guide to Politics from Crime Think. Thank you, Cupcake. Um, capitalism. <clears throat> you wash the dishes, the ones who own them profit. Libertarianism. You wash the dishes, the ones who own them profit tax-free. Democracy. Even as a dishwasher, you deserve a say as to which politician is best suited to protect the economy that keeps you in the kitchen. Nationalism. Forget about those dishes for a second. You're a citizen of the proudest nation on earth. Fascism. The Mexicans who wash the dishes are deported. The Jews who own the place are imprisoned and everyone else is conscripted from military service. Unemployment. The, wor the, only worst th oh, the only thing worse than being trapped in the dish room is being trapped outside it. Neoliberalism. The dishes are shipped overseas to be washed and you're free to develop your own combination of unemployment and nationalism. Reform. Shorter stacks, warmer water, longer breaks. Same dishes. Socialism. Dishwashers' wages increase just enough to afford higher taxes. Communism. From each according to his means to each according to his need, as determined outside the dish room. Workers' rights, right? Marxism. Between shifts, the dishwasher studies the intricacies of dialectical materialism. In turn, out that uh, it turns out that thanks to his efforts, the dirty dishes have been accumulating value for his boss to invest in more dishes. The stuff about the dictatorship of the proletariat is more confusing, but the party theorists reassure him that it makes perfect sense to them. Under their direction, he joins his fellow dishwashers in a risky coup d'etat. Afterwards, he is distraught to find himself still in the kitchen, washing dishes for party bureaucrats. The bureaucrats reassure him that they will eventually wither away. <clears throat> Syndicalism. The dish dishwashers join labor syndicates that send representatives to a council at which it is decided the dishes are to be washed and when. Anarcho-feminism. You wash dishes for the boss who washes the dishes at home? Anarcho-primitivism. Down with dishes. Anarcho-punk. Down with washing. Insurrectionary, insurrectionary anarchism, a quixotic attempt to distill a political theory from a practice of smashing dishes. Anarchism, everyone shares in the dishwashing. <sighs> there you go, Burger Man. All right. Let's get this shit rolling. Let's get this shit rolling. Um, tonight is an after dark stream, despite the insane rant that I had to go on at the beginning of this, because people like destiny and people like bow of the fifth column have hundreds of thousands of people paying attention to them for some reason. You have a shit lib who's going to goose step us into fucking fascist genocidal nut jobbery. And then we have a fucking fascist. I, I don't even know what to fucking, what, what do I describe Bo as at this point, right? A former mercenary who was involved in human trafficking, who stands British imperialist conquest, conquests across Africa. Like what, what, what do I call that? So, like, whatever that is. So, even though it's a night show, like, you know, sorry I had to fucking do the thing. Sorry I had to be up here for it. Um, what's going to happen now, for those of you who have never seen the intro to the night stream, you know what? There's more people here. Here's the intro to the night stream. Let's start this the way it should start. 
I'll be back in a second. All right, let's do a proper night stream now that it, <clears throat> now that Kai's been able to get that out of his fucking system. Yes, <clears throat> Jesus fucking Christ, these people are gonna be the death of me. I wake up today and I'm basically fucking stroke out seeing that Rule Three Hundred Three shit. <clears throat> fucking, I am my my blood pressure went through the fucking roof as soon as I woke up and saw that fucking Rule Three Hundred Three shit. I was like, Jesus, Aspen, stream match, smoking with you. Aspen and I seem to have the same, um, like, Buddhist, absurd Buddhist and I have the exact same looting principles uh, uh, in video games. We're complementary. Like, we, we work so well to get, uh, to, with each other. Aspen and I have the exact same smoking habits. When I'm ready for a hit, Aspen's ready for a hit. So, like, Aspen, if we're ever hanging out and, you know, we're doing a little puff, puff, pass, you're for sure next to me. Um... I saw that, Che. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, so let's do this. Um, for the players who are going to play, Caboose, Cat, fucking if you're in and around. Let's see, Caboose can't move himself, so I'll move Caboose. Cat is perfectly capable of moving himself, even though one of these days I am going to trick Caboose into being a mod. I didn't say, Never. That, didn't say that out loud. Um, fucking, you heard nothing. Hello, it's stream. Um, Cat and Caboose are here. I don't know if any of you other fuckers have seven days to die, but if you have seven days to die, uh, but tomorrow we cancel Bo. You know what? Fucking, if y'all couldn't cancel Bo, like, in 2015 when this shit first happened, I don't have any hope. He's more popular now than he was back then. Homie, like, fucking, his ass should have been kicked to the curb. Of course, we should have fucking not given him the pass for the human trafficking. Um... Fucking nah, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely not an FBI. Yeah, no, that is a hundred percent legal tobacco. I don't know what you're, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, fucking dude, I, <laughs> dude, is such a garbage human being. Um, let's see. One of these days, I need to find a strain and ratio that I actually like, so I can finally smoke up with you guys. Hey. Uh Honestly, just try them. Just yeah. keep keep trying, and you'll oh, find the know. ones that you like. Come on, come on, come on! What the fuck? There we go. Yeah, it it really is. Uh, um, you just gotta you gotta kind of strap in and do what you gotta do, Caboose. Now, of course, <laughs> don't get absolutely fucking blitzed if you have a history of like, yeah. you know, not enjoying it. But like, you know. Um, Wordy, we are running at present better vanilla and some fucking mod that lets you pin recipes to your HUD. That's it. But better vanilla is a complete overhaul. So, yeah. Wait, like, do I got to download a new mod? No, no, no. No, you're no, good. no, no. You already got it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, no, wait, wait. Did you? Yeah, yeah, you were in the game. You're good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Dude can griff though. Bo seems to make the dough. Yeah, he. De I mean, when I found out when fucking Zippy said in that voice call, like he's got merch with it on, I was like, I'm sorry, what? He's got fucking merch with Rule Three Hundred Three on it, and nobody's like, what? No, I. Cool. Fucking seems like y'all have made up your minds. Uh, all right, just got the game, so if it downloads at the same time. Um, hey, wordy. Um, Look at you. <clears throat> fucking. Yeah. Um, Gross. Yeah, wordy. Um, you're going to have some weak. We need to. Okay, wordy. The the most re the the pin mod is on. Wait, you just got the game, so you have a clean install. Um, so you should be fine. Have you played it at all, Wordy? Do you have any saves in the game? And do you give a shit about those saves? Um, 
because yeah, yet. Okay, cool. Then we need to just get wordy the fucking, let's see, better, better vanilla. There we go. Um, here you go, wordy. It's in chat. Here's better vanilla. You're, that's kind of a big download. If you uh, if you need help modding it, we'll we'll get you through modding it. Um. So, but yeah. Hey, do you know how to mod Seven Days, Wordy? Probably not. Um. I can move some stuff. It's 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 not that big, wordy. It's just like you know six eight hundred megs, something like that. It's going to expand up to a decent size too. So, um, okay, then yeah, we'll walk you through modding as need be. Uh, you're going to need to um, let's see. Are you? Yeah, get in wordy. Get in VC. Uh, get in VC on the Discord. Yeah, we'll move your ass up and yeah, walk you through it. We'll do the thing. With the thing. <laughs> All right. Wrong one. Um, let's see. Oh, honestly, this is, this is a very meta comment, but like, I'm really glad that you have this flexibility compared to how, how it was in Podbean. Like, you know, type of expression you can put out there. Yeah, it uh, definitely does. Goddamn Kevins. I swear to God, I hate these fucking Kevins. Um, yeah, no, it is nice to be able to change Just gears like that. Um, I, I still, I'm still, I'm not that dude. I'm still tripping the fuck on that bow shit. Like, it really. I had no clue about that. It fucks with my head. Like, how is this not an instant fuck you? <laughs> Like everything from the left these days too, right? Like everything out of this dude's mouth should be just be met with homie, mercenary, human trafficking, rule 303. Those are your three strikes. You know what? Here's you know what? Here's my take. I bet you the reason why it doesn't get re get really talked about is just because the left doesn't really have the stomach to watch like a just a southerner kind of ramble a bit. I, dude, I got nothing. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> oh, Katrina, <laughs> fucking Kaiju. Um, and say, yeah, I, I, it, dude, that, I already did that rant. Uh, it's, it's a long rambling. Uh, he's in uh, where he's in VC. It's a long rambling you. explanation, but the long and short of it is, it's a reference to a guy in fucking involved in some British colonial conquest imperialism shit in South Africa who ended up put in who got put down by his own military because he was shooting prisoners and shit. It's it's just it's like okay, right? Like can it, trail trail of tears ranch. Welcome to my new ranch, Auschwitz. Like, it, it's super fucking, like, come on. Like, you should not be making that reference. He's got fucking t-shirts with it on it and shit. Jesus. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be like appropriating, like, a Nazi slogan and just running with it and acting like nothing's going on. Yeah. yeah. Never mind the dude who's super fucking problematic. And we're not talking like some, like, oh, you know, in his writings there was some anti-Semitism because at the time everybody was fucking against the Jews, right? Like, no, this dude was doing shit. He was putting bodies in the ground and he was working for an imperial con uh, conqueror who was actively building concentration camps that went on to kill tens of thousands of fucking kids. Right? Like, this is, this is some, some real shit. <laughs> like... This is not something you just make light of. Like, hey, you know, <laughs> I, 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 you know, yeah. It's not transformative like a comedian. Like a comedian could approach this and make some really fucked up dark joke and they would profit from that. And you're like, but that's transformative. There's an argument to be made there that they've actually done the thing that makes it, you know, palatable. Dude, you're just making money off of this shit and you're like ignoring this other dude. Like apparently he's addressed it. But I, I mean, again, I don't know how much addressing it i can take from you know again the former shooty shooty guy who fucking got tagged with like you know yeah he wasn't directly involved he wasn't moving bodies for sex trafficking as near as we can tell but can you make that guarantee all things considered right yeah. you 
Sorry. And you were definitely complicit. Like, you know, you were involved. And then this shit. It's like, dude, that's, as far as I'm concerned, that's your three strikes. Get the fuck out of here. From what I had watched of his brief content, I knew I I knew he had done that stupid shit. I was like, if he'd gone to prison for it, I'll, I'll be free to overlook it. I I had always like watched like only a few of his shit, and he seemed all right. Didn't pay much attention to him. So like that shit is like, what the fuck? He makes some good points. He speaks in an approachable manner. He makes some good points that are like reachable from like gun ownership or right wing or fucking like southerner circles like he speaks their language he speaks to them he like you he's super fucking useful don't look so good yeah. he's super I fucking useful i i think like that. cat like i think that may be the like we were trying to figure out why i think it's it may be utilitarian uh, yeah more more than anything is he just doesn't really hit a lot of radars of lefty people it's people don't pay attention to him so he's able to like go under the surface basically yeah that was basically my hypothesis that like i think i think the average lefty can't stand like a like it's patronizing to say but yeah i don't, I don't think the average lefty is capable of dealing with like just like a cishet like southerner dude unless you live in talking. the south yeah unless you live in the south you you ain't really comfortable with that shit yeah um do y'all want to take a tier two restore power night only mission 1.4 kilometers away <laughs> Fuck that. Excuse you. You're appropriating my culture. <laughs> like that. Dude, that's looking at me. Like, dude, that's that's some new Good shit. Luck, oh, come on. That's a group activity. That's a group I, activity. Uh, all right, fine. Peer pressure does work. Just don't ever use it for your own gains, kids. Uh, well, I, I figure we should. Okay, not yet, but it's in my list. I want it. I want it noted that we, I want to do that. I want to do that. Um, but like we need to recover from Horde Night and do some looting and find some ammo and fucking restock and shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm currently mis mixing cement right now. That's that's um, what uh, I'm keeping busy with. Um, Time to download the mod. Okay. Oh right. Ka uh, caboose. Yeah. If you want to be on me, I did some bike riding. We're really close to like some not burned out shit like actual town right around the fucking corner with a pop in pills headquarters and shit like that like we should be oh. we should be looting elsewhere and i found where we should be looting all right um i still need my own bike i haven't completed the quest yet for that uh how many quests in do you have how, is there a way i can tell not yeah there's a quest section where where is it cat it's oh, okay. the ex it's the exclamation point. I oh. see it now. Yes. Um, did you sleep better we're tonight, Kai? Ah, uh, yes, I did. Thank you. Good. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, 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 no. That's um, by all no, means. No. If we're fucking we're capable. Um, we're not counting the survival one, right? No, no, no. that's the that's. Th those are like the those are like the first ones you do when you get in the only server. ones you would have gotten from the trader does uh do failed quests count no 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 then it's i've successful. only done six okay so uh, you're, you're three away yeah you're three away Let's... all right so let me just go do my three quests and then i'll get the bike cool yeah yeah because i it's it's a game changer it always is oh. and if we see rifle parts let me know because oh. i can craft hunting rifles now. oh my god I need one shotgun part for the love of God. I need one shotgun part. <laughs> oh, I bought, I bought some. I've, I've found only a few. I can build level three shotguns. And so like, I'm desperate. I'm dying here with this fucking pipe shotgun. Literally. Oh, fucking hey. What happens when you only have one bullet per load? Oh, it's rough. It's rough. Um, there's a murderer who was put in front of a firing squad. When asked if he had a last request, he said, bring me a bulletproof vest. <laughs> Solid work. Um, It'd be like that sometimes. All right, I'm downloading the better vanilla, so it's just taking some time. Yep, yep. Um, okay, yeah. so what you want to do is like do you, uh, like you're gonna go to your Steam app, uh, your co uh, st common Steam apps where where the games get installed. 
Um, so like if you want, there's a few different ways to fucking get to it. Um, but if you're familiar with doing that, that's what you're going to do. You're going to go to where seven days to die is actually installed for steam. Uh, yeah, not technologically literate. So, okay. I'll so I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through it. Okay. Let me get it downloaded first. Um, yeah, you're getting the you're, games downloaded the app. Pad, yeah. You're going to, be you're going to be working in that folder. You're going to need to create a mod folder and it, that sort of thing. Like it's, there's right. going to be a couple of steps here, but don't worry. I will walk you through them. Okay, you'll have to baby me. I, this is this is. <laughs> I used to get I used to get paid by corporations to occasionally do this, so I'm more than comfortable, fucking holding your hand. Did you turn it on and off again? <laughs> <sighs> fucking, you know. All right, so where are the? I, I need a pipe. I so need a pipe. Um, there we go. Jesus, the pipe shotgun uses pipes to repair. I thought I'd use a repair kit. I, I thought I was good. Um, that is good to know, actually. Yeah. Pipe weapons do not use fucking repair kits to repair them. They use pipes. I mean, it makes sense, but Jesus. Huh. You can repair You can repair ground that you've hit, like dirt that you've hit with a fucking, uh, <laughs> with, a, with a fucking, like, axe or a claw hammer. Like, you can literally just repair the ground. <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, Cupcake is informing us. That um, holding hands is unfortunately terms of service. So uh, yes, we're gonna we're gonna have to hold off on that. Well, don't you know you can get pregnant if you hold hands? Yeah, it makes sense that they wouldn't want that on the platform. Um, <laughs> also, have you experimented with the locking the first end slots? Because that's useful. Um, the the you can you can lock a set amount of slots in your inventory so they never get rearranged with the resort so you can just have items locked off in position no moving items not allowed um let's see holy hell i helped my dad with it issues thankfully i can sign into his computer from my phone helps <laughs> helps to see a screen it does uh, it really does I I did a fair amount of that. Like, unfortunately, like when you are a one man shop, working an entire corporation, you know, um, yeah. I mean, you know, I outsource stuff. I put other stuff um, out there for you know. I had other people working certain tasks for me that I would roll out to like wiring and stuff like that, but. <clears throat> If you don't want to undercut your entire project a project budget, what you do is you do as much of it as you can yourself. That way, it's only the stuff you're willing to compromise. Look, I don't want to schlep wire. It's a pain in the ass. It's a horrible gig. I'm not schlepping wire. I will pay somebody to do that. That's fine. But like, if I can, if I can do all of the you know all the scripting work, all the network hardware installation, all of the rack work, all the final wiring work, all of the server build, operating system installation, Active Directory, Exchange Server, all of the client terminals. If I can do all of that work myself, then I get to keep all that cut. <laughs> all that just went over my head. It's if if you can build the entirety of the network that a business needs, right? If you restrict yourself as a consultant, this is what I did. I worked small to medium sized businesses and medium sized businesses are big. Um, if you can bring enterprise level experience as a one man shop to that sort of organization and you'd be like, look, I can handle all of your needs. All of them. You pay, all right, uh, just you pay me for that. Okay, so open the zip file. Okay, uh, do you want me to extra extract it? No, I, I, not yet. I just want you to open it. Okay. Okay, so I want you to open Steam. Okay, I got the Steam already open. Okay, so what you're going to do is you are going to, it is, let's see, right-click seven days to die, go to manage. Yep. Okay. Uh, manage. Browse local files. Okay. Okay. So in that zip file, you should see mods. Uh, yep. Okay. I want you to drag and drop that into that folder. Into the seven days to die folder? Yes. Cool. 
that's going to take you a minute. Yeah. It hasn't even started loading that process yet. Yeah. Let me try it again. <clears throat> Would you say most activist hackers are leftist? Um, only if you ca uh, are counting exclusively non-state actors. The majority of hackers in the world um, that you're talking about, like offensive hacking, what you're talking about, you're not talking about like, <clears throat> you know, yeah, that, that's because there's what you, you could talk about the legitimate or the sort of like grassroots versus the astroturfing. A lot of the hacktivism in the world is oftentimes state backed um, actors. I just wanted to see myself jump. It's, um, oh. it is, it is useful to be able to co-opt. That's why, that's why like when you see anonymous has hacked somebody, a portion of that is us. Like uh, it is us state actors. Anonymous is nobody. It's, it's, we co like it has been co it's not, it's not, it's not co-opting something. It's when it's that it's like the pirate flag. Anybody can fly it. States fly it. Historically, states have flown under the pirate flag when they want to do some shady shit. It's the electronic equivalent of a pirate flag. So you better believe that like some of this shit that people are like, hey, did you see Russia got hacked in the database of something got released? Or, you know, did you see a percentage of that is us? <laughs> it's it's state actors. Um, so if you exclude those. Um, the majority of uh, uh, um, hack, uh, hacktivists is what they actually are called. Uh, activist hackers, they're called hacktivists. Uh, the majority of them are decidedly left, uh, are leftists. Most of them are anarchists or some variant thereof. There's, it's difficult to be a hacker and be an activist and not just understand some shit. You're like, oh, okay. I, I, I re my anonymity relies upon distributed network topologies, right? My ability to do what I do takes me in a thought process that you would naturally apply to system of governance. And you'd be like, oh no, no, I got a better idea, right? We're already doing this. So let's just do it. So yeah, a, a good portion of the hacktivists are all anarchists, and the majority of the uh, the non-state actors are decidedly leftist. Unless you got like fucking what Russia hacking the DNC, and you got like a state actor there. Yes, there's there's plenty of examples. Um, the big players for states are um, U.S., China. Um, for, for offensive hacking, like properly getting in there and getting in the trenches, it's U.S., China, Russia, Iran, and Israel. These are the big players in the world. They, Iran sponsors a whole bunch of shit. Russia has actual like state-backed programs that they could recruit out of. So do we, by the way. Um, there's certain like classes for mathematicians at some of the major schools like MIT. There's like a, there's a couple of classes that only the people who are going to end up in classified end up taking. Like it, it's just, it's just the way it is. Like if you want top tier, you have to kind of create them. You can't count on lightning in a bottle like we did in the nineties and like, oh shit, he's good. Grab him. You know, you gotta, you gotta train him and create him, give him the proper foundation these days. So yeah, it's those are the big ones that really get involved and do some shit. But then you get like uh, people who also get fucking arrested that eventually like get hired to do this shit too. Um, that doesn't happen as much as it used to in the '90s. That's that's very much a '90s story. It happened a lot back then. Um, these days, not so much. These days, you tend to just catch a rap. Uh, unless you touch something that's of interest to somebody like if you if you like the dude who the dude who hacked North Korea who shut down North Korea's internet a while back it was because Korea North Korea fucked with one of his nodes online he was running some shit he's a security researcher by trade and this dude's running some shit and North Korea was probing it and it was annoying him and so like they shut down a bunch of his like project that he was running 
And so he struck back a few months later and like shut down their border gateway protocol nodes and some other shit. Like he fucked with their border gateway protocols. Um, potentially could be something else. Fuck if I'm remembering. Um, but That's he, amazing. yeah. And, and we didn't do shit, man. We, we sat there and laughed. Like it was a story in our news. We're like, here's the guy who shut down North Korea's internet. And it's like, you know, he just like hacked a nation state's internet, right? Like that's like big boy shit. And it's just some random dude. So it yeah, wasn't us. So who cares? Yeah. Like one that's state sponsored. That's, that's, that's tacit sponsorship of state, uh, of state hacking. Like that's, that's just, you're like, mm, we're not doing anything about it. Not a crime to hack North Korea for us. Um, so like, yeah, there's that level of it. But there is, there's, there, there are hacker collectives. There are individuals. It is, it, it is an area that is not only prone, but naturally does create and encourage that type of individual. Honestly, I, I don't think I could ever get into technology because it just, it is so much. Um, it's mostly just math. I hear a bike. Yeah. Uh, the next, I, just, I suddenly got a bike from my quest. Yep. Nice. All right. If y'all see any antibiotics, just uh, <sighs> let me know. Yeah. Or honey. Either or. Um, also, I'm, I'm getting a lot of visual glitches. Have you been getting them? No, no. that's you. Mm. If you need to fucking restart, let me know. All right, you. Um. All right. I'm seventy percent on downloading the uh, better vanilla to the seven days a day. Why not? Nice. Why no turn? Oh, that was weird. Just didn't want to turn for some reason. You might have clicked your. You might have clicked your M1 by accident. <sighs> No, I, I, I just let up all the keys, and then it started turning again. <laughs> Weird. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's seven days. Chasing. It's seven days to die, man. Right? Like, come on. <laughs> it's it's going to be jank. Yeah, this game is broken. <laughs> like, Ooh, I found a lead node. Hey. Nice. Lead's good. <clears throat> yeah, this mine's pretty successful, by the way. Good. Yeah. Because if it's not, we're going to bury you down there. What? Well. Because <laughs> he can fucking dig his way out. Have you found any nitrate? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I'd be the person to dig dig out. Yeah. Oh, I have a... Oh, yeah, there's a nitrate <clears throat> vein as well. Yeah, right, good. That yeah, when you find coal... Powder. When you... Oh, oh uh, yeah, when you find... Uh, nitrate tend to, uh, tends to spawn around coal, I, if I remember correctly. Well, either way, there's a nitrate vein, a massive fucking iron vein. It's like six combined into one. Nice. And then there's a lead node. Nice. Yeah, now yeah, we no, just need some... Very now successful. We, now we just need coal out of that bitch. We'll be yep. good. <laughs> I already cleaned this place out, Caboose. Alright. Uh, oh, oh, looks like one of them respawned, but we can get it on the way back. Yeah, right across this bridge, there's an entire town. Alright, I got them transferred over. Okay. Um, oh, I think one of my quests took me here one time. Yeah, like, this is this is just all, like, fucking free stuff. All right, so um, do I have you on Steam? Um, no. Okay. One sec here. Fucking, I say we just start pick houses and fucking just work through this methodically. All righty. Dude, we got tons of fucking... Oh, hey now. Wait. Wait, Wordy, did you uh, did you turn off your uh, anti cheat? Oh no, we're not, what? No, that's we're that's the next step. We're gonna get into oh, okay. Steam. Uh, I need to like not be like sitting at ground level though. Um, because um, so yeah, you might as well do that. Well, no, let's get the friend added first. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this should be good. Just gonna pop off here and then get it back and I'll crouch should be hidden be up here all right um, are you talking about how it's gay to or how it's straight not to have sex with women is that what you're talking about wait what 
Oh, uh, I don't know, Exel. Exel says, y'all see the uh, Nick Fuentes development? Oh, that, yeah. I, we've seen that, but if there's another one, then no. Um, okay. Yeah, that dude, that dude has problems. Um, the dude needs to just accept he's gay. All right, here's, uh, here's, a, here's a quick invite. All right. Um, add me as a friend so you're on there and so I can invite you and then we'll get you to do the last step. Oh, was it, is it straight now? Uh, cause last I heard banging women was gay. Yeah. Now it's. Um, yeah, it's, it's ha not having sex with women is straight. Right, like that's yeah. It's like the straightest thing you can do. Yeah, the the straightest thing you can do is be a virgin. I I think uh, I have you as a friend. You're yep. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna just make sure it's the right one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Google. Oh yeah, I see you. Um. Okay. okay. So then, what you're going to do is go to uh when you're uh when you're on seven days to die do the uh fucking what is it uh click play and then use the uh what do they call it what's the wording on that the dialogue that pops up uh show game launcher play seven days to die yes anything? game launcher okay i'll show game launcher and then turn off anti -che easy anti-cheat or whatever the fuck it's called uh, use AZ anti cheat and I'll click it off. Yes, turn that off. Run and save as default. Yes. Yep. Cuckoo. Then you'll be good to go. Yeah, just accept Kai's invite and you'll be in the game. Alright, I'm loading the game up right now. Based. Invite sent. Alright. Now, full warning, we have a mod, this mod makes the game extremely difficult, so if you're dying a lot, don't, don't It's trip. fine. It's okay, I already suck at games, okay? No, like, it, it's hard to explain. Yeah, like, it's, it's, it's gonna take, like, what would be, like, 40 to 60 HP on a zombie and immediately turn it up to 600. And, like, you know, yeah. They're, they're, right, they can do some damage. Let me turn the sound volume down a little bit. Yeah, fuck with the settings. What the f What's that about? Okay. Um, I'm on the main screen right now. Let me try to join the game again. There's a message, let us know. Like if you're like if there's like command if the if like a command console like pops up. Yeah, I have the yeah. command prompt up. Oh yeah, we didn't okay. get him. To, I didn't get him to do the uh, the other mod. Oh, that's right. One more mod needs to be installed. And it's in a zip file in the gaming disc channel of the Discord. It should be fairly recent. Okay, uh, I'll quit out of it and then try to find it. Oh, I didn't fucking chant, dude. I didn't just. Oh, I need to do that. I don't want that on fucking seven days. Hold on, give me one sec. Okay, so just extract those two folders to the mod folder. In, and it's in, good yeah, to go. in the mods folder, right where you put everything else. Um. All right. All so right, peanut pot right. sauce. The definition of a genocide, broadly speaking, is when a group or groups of people are being are having a certain level of violence and act. What this manifests as is usually either a a dislocation or intentional like uh, attempt to break up the group of people. There is also you know the attempt to prevent them free from repopulating themselves or otherwise just systemic oppression that culturally demeans them or otherwise uh, you know puts them at oh Jesus. Well, I just died falling on spikes. The point is, you know, like, it, it otherwise, like, demean their identity or, er Wait, or erase died. them culturally. So, going by this definition, the, the U.S. is quickly, you know, exhibiting a lot of these behaviors. Trans people in particular are, you know, cr are being criminalized across the U.S. 
like their the trans healthcare is slowly being eroded we are seeing you know children being separated from their families due to the due to them supporting you know their child's right to transition uh anti you know uh, anti sodomy laws are are being discussed once again and we're seeing just you know just Generally, the rights of like LGBTQ people here in the states are, you know, meeting what qualifies under the UN as a genocide. Yeah. There. I I have friends who are like, let's not let's not be a little uh, what's it called like rhetorically oh. or whatever. I'm like, I don't care anymore. Fuck off. Oh, I just, I, the only one I've heard is uh, you being alarmist, and it's like, yeah, um. Just no, I'm sorry. Like the people who are like, you know, they're going to overturn Roe v. Wade. Oh, you're being alarmist. Oh, look, they're overturning Roe v. Wade. Yeah. Right. Like it, it's just like at this point, reality is opposed to your like argument of alarmism. Um, I got the mods downloaded. What do I need to do for it? Okay. okay. Um, the those two folders. In, yep. the, in the zip file, need to go in that mods folder that you pulled over to the seven days directory. Cool, 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 cool. No problem. Downloads of find the mods. And then uh, let me extract them first. Do we not have any glue? I don't understand that. Hold on. Genuine question, what do you mean, uh, what do you guys mean uh, with LGBTQ genocide? And then you replied, my question was more as to what level of bad you guys think it would take, but still thanks. What? You guys what? think it, uh, I don't know. Uh, you guys yeah, think, that, that grammatically doesn't check out. You guys think it'll be in the whole of the U.S.? In Republican states, yes, but in New York. Um, no, I don't think it will be in the whole of the U.S. I don't think it is in the whole of the U.S. There are places where it doesn't suck to be gay. Um, there are places like Nevada that affirms trans rights that like I, I famously use it as an example every time I talk about this, that, um, our Medicaid program in this state covers gender affirming, uh, surgeries and any hormones or prescriptions necessary to support it thereof. Right. Not only do we have a Medicaid program, it's trans. It, it accepts trans people as people. Right. Like there are places where it doesn't absolutely suck to be, you know, of a different character or person or style of human. And, you know, yeah, I think I think you're going to find there's some very specific states that are going to show some very specific patterns. Welcome to Arkansas. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so you got it moved over? I got it. Yeah, uh, I think you just need to invite me again. Okay, turn off. Oh, yeah. Um, I just sent you another invite. Just launch from the invite. No problemo. Here we go. Fucking, all right, Caboose, what the hell happened to you? Um, I got ganged up by zombies. Ah, yeah, that was classic. And I was already kind of injured. Fair enough. And then, Cat, you were a cave-in, right? As I heard. Uh, no, I'm just I'm I was just mining, so yeah. might as well be a cave-in. Now that now that you mention it, it's a it's a mining accident. Yeah. And an assault that takes place at the workplace still counts as a workplace accident. Fair enough. Okay, these visual glitches are actually starting to fuck with me now. I'm gonna see if restarting helps. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, I'm not experiencing anything. You should uh, start up a stream on your shit so we can see what's going on with you. Well, too late. I already quit. But if it continues, I'll show you. Cool, cool. All right. Uh, tr time for a snack. I'm gonna give cheese sauce a try. Says Aspen. Ooh, that sounds good. There it is. Fuck you. I hate those cabinets. I hate the, the, the like the entertainment or the closet cabinets. Oh, they're always in there. It's just it's like, God damn it. I know you're standing behind that door. As soon as I crack it, you're either going to fucking get that first hit off or I'm going to walk by you and you're just going to jump out at me. Like, let's just get this over with.
I already posted McGill University stuff about this. Like, here, hang on. Jesus Christ. Oh, I am wandering around in the wilderness hung hungry. I Leftover pizza for breakfast, no more burned potato. Burned boiled potatoes is oh, non binary. Jesus Christ, non binary. You need the, whatever whatever cause that you like, I don't, whether you need to get on some medication or you need some supervision, like for real. That's like that burn was house down territory. Honestly, I would recommend just do it again. Third no, time's no. the charm. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Have you, did you see non binary pictures? Yes, I saw them. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, uh, that was an epic. That was interesting. Burn boiled potatoes. Yeah, bur on. burning boiled potatoes. You just let the water evaporate, Aspen. That's what fucking happened. <laughs> yeah, just walk away. You're done. Okay, that's you want to know. How, you want to know how you burn boiled potatoes? Put what? Put potatoes in water. Put it on the stove. You're done. Just that's everything we have to talk about is over now. Why is it yeah. not letting me apply it for the character creation? Not a fucking clue. I mean, with this game, who the fuck knows? Yeah, mod, mod, the, the game and the, the mods and the game are just fucking broken half the time. So, yeah, he used to it. Uh, what? It's a very jank game. Steve? Okay, I think I, I'm coming in. So let's see what happens. All right, all right, based. My old roommate would do that shit. Not for real. That's like some dangerous shit. That'll like that's you'll burn a house down doing that shit. Yeah, that's just very easy to do that. That's 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 legitimate reason to be angry as a roommate. Yes. I am still getting the visual glitches. All right, start the stream. We need to see this. It is. Oh, okay. Oh. I didn't get it up sound. Hold on. Where are what we? What the fuck? Give me a sec. Loose's game is broke. What the? Oh, what? interesting. Where did my game go? Is it everywhere? It like, what's? What happens if you fiddle with like your texture rendering settings or something like that? Well, I'll have to figure that out when I'm not being chased by a crawler. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it seems like your render distance is like fucking up there or something. Yeah, that's that's interesting. Because when you turn away, it, it like fixes itself. Okay. Um I think geometry of this house. Okay. I have just come to being a shit. goblin in the in the mines. My game just fucking crashed for some reason, so we're reloading. Hmm. That might happen. Yeah, the mod yeah, that just the mod doesn't usually crash stuff. We haven't had that issue. That's just, well, I don't have the best computer in the world, so I don't know. Well, seven days is... <clears throat> it's not optimized the best, some would say. <laughs> uh, it's an $800 Walmart computer that I had to replace one part so far, okay? That's where I'm at. Is it, is it, does it have a graphics card? Yes. Okay, just... what? What is it? I can't remember. I'd have to look at it again. Let's go on task manager, you can see it there. No, uh, not at the same time as playing a game. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's... Uh, here's another one. God, that most computers are incapable of that guy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm spoiled. Also, Cat and Kai, here's another visual glitch I keep getting. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Dude, go oh, interesting. So, what like, is going on with your shit, dude? I don't know. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> this just it's just putting shit where something went very wrong. All right. I think I might need another invite because I don't know how to do the through the join game. All right. Uh, I got one more idea Thanks. on to try. So I'm gonna. You yeah, give that a row. Jesus. They're all European colonizers. 
And the British that he worked for, Kensai, set up contra- concentration camps for the Africans and the Afrikaans, in which tens of thousands of children died. They're all European colonizers at that hey, point. Kensai, is, is this a case of you just being so shocked that you can't even believe it? He's a, he's a war criminal, a racist, a colonizer, and the team he was playing for ran concentration camps contemporary, uh, contemporary to him, where they were exterminating African children to the tune of tens of thousands. Yeah, let's build a George W. Bush statu- uh, memorial statue in Afghanistan. I'm sure the 100,000 Iraqi dead kids, they'd love a fucking uh, statue of an American president. Right? Like, it's, it's, this isn't a good person. This isn't a good person. Like, by a long shot, this isn't a good person. Like, let, let, let's, let's just accept that, like, you know, yeah, come on. I mean, he was a colonizer himself, Kensai. He was attempting to colonize the f- even the f- the few free states that like were trying to break off, even from the imperialist Dutch. Like these were the few colonizers that were like, you know what? It's a bad idea. Fucking, let's try and do something different. I mean, still fucking foreigners in a foreign land. Staking claims that they had no claim to, but humanity's full of that shit. But at the end of the day, he was playing for team colonizer and concentration camps. Let's see if I can get more fast to quit. That's why I can get it because it's being annoying right now. I put your like graphic settings too before you like uh. If he, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because it usually puts it on like the ultra high shit. Yeah. Okay. I, I can't. Are you are you legit are you legitimately attempting to defend the British colonizers in South Africa? Give me a second, computer has to restart because it's being done. Like that's that's the argument. It's like hey, you know, the British colonizer in South Africa is really kind of a cool dude because he killed some Dutch colonizers. What do we got? Golden He's fighting a crown, Ken side, not all of them. Uh, the, the Dutch and Brits are not the same people. Oh, yeah. And the states that they were fighting against were, like I said, free states. They were attempting to not do the whole Dutch Empire thing. Britain Britain was fighting them because Britain wanted the gold that was under their ground, uh, under their feet. That's it. It was a gold rush in the region. And so the British were like, ha, ha, ha. So you're saying that those fuckers over there are fighting with the Dutch crown? That means they don't have the backing of the Dutch royalty? Oh, interesting. So we can just attack them wholesale? Oh, we can. Oh, that's interesting. Rule Britannia. And they went to town. That's what Morant was doing in that part of the world. He was attempting to expand the British Empire into the Dutch free states that bordered what would eventually become South Africa. And yes, he killed some Dutch free staters while he was there. Equally colonizer, just of a different type. They were doing it on their own. They were sort of like the libertarian... um, you know, libertarian branch 
of the colonizers. Still doing yes. a white man on a, in the foreign land, but they weren't doing it for the crown. Somebody's got Twitch in the background. Sorry. That yeah, is not it, me. Turn it on while I was waiting uh, for my computer to restart. Dutch. Hey. Like, it, it's, it's at the end of the day, it's just like, holy shit. Like, why wouldn't you just rename it? Like, why is your idea, like, your core identity attached to, like, some really fucked up heinous shit? <laughs> like, welcome to brand Auschwitz. It, sure. It's really, really bad taste, though. <laughs> like, it's... It's like if I decided to have some, like, private investigation agency representing my queerness, and I named it after that gay dude who worked with McCarthy. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, that's not our best representation. It just, you know, at the fucking end of the day, it's like, come on, man. It's kind of a shit thing to do either way. So like, just pick a different fucking name. <laughs> It reminds me of the, the Southern statue shit. The, you know, they're constantly banging on about their stupid statues that only got put up in 1960s anyway. And also, Caboose is in voice chat. Oh, let me get him. Got him. And then, yeah, you did. one more time for him to invite. Let's see if it works. If not, I'll just chill. Um, get your refund. Yeah, if you only got it recently, get your refund. For sure. And I did not know you could craft dirt. <laughs> um, really? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember because I filled in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I filled in that giant hole. Yeah, I remember yeah. doing that now. Um, yeah. Even the rule three hundred three is uh, specifically is pretty fucked up. It was his answer as to why he executed people. It, it's it's essentially I could. Like that's, that's even, yeah, I just sort of read what Aspen typed, like just, you know, it's essentially, I could, I had the ability, therefore I had the responsibility. I had the rifle. I had the 303 rifle. I had to kill them. It's that simple, right? Like even, even the, like even the, the rule itself is fucked. It's, it's coming from a pretty fucked up dude, right? Like the whole thing is just like, why would you, <laughs> why would you associate your brand identity with that. It seems like a fucked up thing. <sighs> I think. What am I missing? Apparently he's talked about it multiple times over the years, Kensai. Apparently he's addressed it several times. So there will be, there's multiple responses from him. I don't care. Like, he, he, again, he's already got, like I said, this was his third strike, not his first. I've heard explanations already from Bo for shit. I've already heard, like, you know, well, that and this reason and that thing. And look, I, you know, I'm good. I'm good. I don't need the guy who is building Camp Auschwitz. Let's see. Come on. Really? There we go. Oh, they're vitamins. I thought for a second I had antibiotics. I already died, so I don't need them. I know, but still, <laughs> I want them. <laughs> yeah, it's good to have the antibiotics. Okay, 100%. I can do this. I can do this. Oh, I don't have any. God damn it, I can't do this. All right, what do I need? Um, I have all that. I don't have any feathers on me. God damn it. Okay, I'm just, I'm just checking my mods. So it's the OCB pin and then the better vanilla. That's it, right? That's uh, all. There we should got. be two of the OCB thing. Yeah, I got I got both of them. Okay. There's OCB pin and then UI whatever. Okay, if those are happening, maybe there's some load up issues. 
Yeah, because nor- if it's a mod issue, it what will happen is the console, I'll show you on stream, the console will pop open on you, mm-hmm. and there it'll give yellow or red conditions. Uh, what happens for me is it shows like loading textures and everything, and then it just hits the main menu again. That's, that feels game-ish. Yeah, that seems like a computer's just saying, like, nah, I'm good, fam. Yeah. So, like, yeah, if you just bought it, like, recently, recently, you get that fucking refund, brother. Yeah. Great. I need to get a better computer eventually. Yeah. Because I have, like, a GPU bought for the better, and it's like, dude, I just gotta get a better one at this point, but I don't have a fucking job. Feel it. Well, it was worth trying. Yeah, I mean, if you want, you can just hang out here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm still going to chill. I'll just read some stuff for uh, the protest and on Saturday. We got, like, a possible terrorist on the bout, so we got to be ready. I feel that. Fucking, there's been a lot of protests popping off here in uh, in L.A. due to that Roe v. Wade shit. Like, it's still going on. Yeah, just, well... You know, it's it's a little rough in my part right now. Like we had a dude just get arrested today. Um, he was standing across the street, possibly shooting a bunch of elementary kids. And the dude's part of this like a uh, right wing group that's in our city. And so if he gets out, he could potentially show up to the protest because he was linking like incel shit, anti women, anti kid. And so Jesus. <laughs> seems like a fun guy. Uh, yeah, so we're, like, stepping up the security level right now. Fucking better, Jesus. Yeah, I mean, we got a person who's doctor and shit, so we gotta, like, do extra protection to protect her. Yep. Well, restarting my computer hasn't totally fixed the glitches, but it's slightly better. That's weird. Yeah, I've never seen nothing like that. Yeah, that's a new Uh, one on me. uh, The only thing I can think of is I did update my NVIDIA drivers earlier today. Oh, well, that might exactly be it. (laughs) That's that is a possibility. I mean, it's it's not you know I wouldn't say with def- definitive nature, but it's definitely a possibility. Yeah, you can't rule that out. No, for sure, no. Yeah. Especially knowing what I know about Nvidia. So there is roof access. There's gotta be. Oh, Jesus Christ. I just got a crit on a vulture with a club and fucking straight up baseball that motherfucker out. Yep. What the fuck? I thought I killed you. Alright, hold on. Are you in a hospital right now? Or is it the prison? It's the popping pills. Check this out. Fuck. Yeah, let me see what is going on here. That that feels GPU. Now now that you've thrown that out there. Yeah, I don't feel like going to the effort to revert back to a previous version. Is it playable? It's playable, yeah, it's just a little weird. And unfortunately now there's fake walls in some places. <laughs> Right. Here, let's see if I can show one that looks like it might be a real wall. I saw, uh, um, well, I saw that, like, lip of marble when you were going up those stairs. I was like, yeah, dude, that looks like you've got a thing in your way. It's like your character is, like, straight hallucinating. Oh, very curiously watch you all. Come to the stream for the first time, see a guy home run a bird. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Kazrin, welcome. Yeah, this this game's a you know, it's full of it's, fucking it's a jank. Thing. It's fucking broken as shit, but it is amusing. And that's and apparently a slight driver incompatibility is gonna cause some uh, really fucking creepy shit. Suddenly, you're haunted by all the ghosts mm. of your past. 
I am haunted by uh, the ghost of Marble Pirate. <laughs> that's, that's a fun sentence to say. Good afternoon, Kazrin says. Where in the world are you, Kazrin? Uh, Hi, hello oh, from Las Vegas. Are, are you are you from the Eastern Bloc? I just bought seven days. I'm here to take a few notes and maybe some insight on the game. Oh, well, you can't well, we're running a modded version. Yeah, so just keep that in mind. We're running better vanilla. You can see here and here. Um, it makes the game significantly harder, um, but it's much better. Um, the inventory is far expanded. It's not going to be your your inventory is going to be a little fucking corner here of this inventory. Your inventory is going to feel very, very rough. You know, if there's a game that you are interested in, besides uh, Caboose, besides uh, Oops. Uh, Seven Days to Die, you could do Project Zomboid. <laughs> yeah, we got Zomboid. Okay. Yeah, we've we've been playing the shit out of Zomboid. Zomboid just taking a break from Zomboid. Look, I'm not I'm not gonna say that there's a level of expertise in this community of Zomboid, but all I'm saying is that we know a couple of things about that game. Yeah. I may or may not have made a bunch of suicide suicidal <laughs> like athletic just beasts in order to do, to test combat mechanics to give the scoop for everybody else. Yeah. Um. I can play Zomboid, so if you ever have that, I'm down for it. <laughs> Good to know. Yep. I, I well, sorry. I was gonna say we might. Zomboid's yeah, Zomboid. fun. Yes. I've logged so many fucking hours into that game. It's one of those games you can play it for fucking. You can play it for like a decade. Yeah. And still be discovering things. It's so fucking good. It is. Well, technically, good morning from Texas. Three. Oh. Wow. 3.32 a.m. Okay, okay. Okay, like, I was about to say good afternoon, Kazrin. I was thinking, like, are you, like, a Kazakh or some shit? You know? That's where my mind went. People don't sleep anymore, so I don't know if this is, like, good morning, good afternoon shit. Yeah, time, time has become very, very hard to keep track of since COVID. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, co <laughs> COVID, COVID, that's of. why. Yeah, let's go with yeah, COVID. Yeah, COVID. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so as a firearm owner, do you think owning a handgun has become more useless than seeing, fasc seeing fascist weapon of choice is now the AR? Nah, I think anybody trained well enough. Get your head fucking down. Do your work. I mean, it's yeah, about it's about put like, it's about putting rounds on target. I mean, here's the thing: is that like if you're engaging in a firefight, even with an AR, you're kind of already fucked up. That was you know. That was a failure on intel, that was a failure on, like, you know, just general procedure. Fucking, like, if, you, if you're just out there just lobbing rounds at each other, you fucked up. The great thing about concealed carry is, well, you can get the drop on people. And you can fucking, you know, do some shit that you wouldn't be able to do with something like an AR just hanging out there. No, I, I, I don't, there's... No. No, I think there's still very much a fucking place for it. Yeah, there's never going to be a scenario where handguns are just straight useless. Unless we're talking like fucking artillery shells are being lobbed out there and field, field you know, fucking drone you know, strikes. Open, open field operations. You know, if, if, well, you, if you got distance. If you've got artillery strikes, you wouldn't be out in the middle of a battlefield if you could avoid it. Oh, hey now. Well, yeah, it's, like, you know, it's like, unless we're talking about like straight up fucking, you know, you're just gonna get drone strike. It's like, yeah, your fucking M9's not really gonna help you, but neither is your AR. Yeah. <laughs> like, ah, yes, I have an entire mortar rating on me. Holy what do shit, I do? They punch, gun. they punch through the fucking concrete on that second floor. Jesus Christ, Dude. good on you, girl. Zombies will get you, man. One hit. Fuck it. Ah, God damn it. Good what, job. what happened? <laughs> I died again. Well, I mean, yes, but what happened? Um, so I followed this tunnel that was at the bottom of a garage, and it led me into a house that is absolutely crawling with, like, every variety of zombies. Fair enough. Jesus Christ, they yeah. really did tunnel out of that fucking giant hole up there. Also, Kai, uh, you picked that night quest thing, right? I didn't pick it. Ah. Uh. Well, it's just in the list. It's been there for a while for me. Uh. Yeah, 
what if you just do like a Call of Duty Modern Warfare mode and you just see the mortar hitting? You just throw the knife and it you just, just knife it and pre explode <laughs> shit. <laughs> Oh, that yeah. would be amazing. Just like, well, you yeah. throw a Also, also calling the AR-15 a fascist weapon of choice, it's just like, that's... Look, it's just... It's a, it's a pretty fucking universal it's rifle. A, it's, I don't it's a lot like, of people's first weapon of choice. Yeah, it's like, that's just kind of like, come on, dude. Train with what you can get. That's yeah, it's like it's, 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 it's like calling an AK like a fucking commie gun or some shit. Like, come on, dude. Well, what we did fucking choice of the uh, choice of the African warlord. It's, it was, I mean, in firearm circles, that was kind of a compliment. Yeah, and not all of these mass shooters have been fucking fascist, dude. Just uh, fucked up. Okay, first off, a handgun might actually be the best case thing, the best thing you could fucking use in an active shooter scenario. Because they wouldn't see it. <laughs> They'll see a big ass barrel with a full ass rifle fucking pointing at them. Some dude fucking pointing at the handgun through their coat is, you know, it's a whole different business. Plus, 9mm can get pretty compact, so they're pretty easy to hide. Well, that's that's what I'm saying. It's just like, yeah, fucking... Your little M9, a Glock, your little fucking... You know, yeah, you fucking pull it out of your holster, don't say shit, dude comes around the corner, pop, pop, pop. You know, you can't really be doing that with an AR. That was... that sequence in this courtyard was the closest I've felt to playing Zomboid in this game. I straight up strung these fuckers along, Zomboid style, just taking headshot after headshot, swinging with a bat, fucking working my stamina, di getting distance. Like it was literally a Zomboid run in this fucking in this in this place. We we have been tr thoroughly traumatized by Zomboid at this point. <laughs> it was it was a hundred percent a Zomboid fucking. This this was all Zomboid all day. Like this is exactly uh, I. The only reason I knew how to survive this situation right here. Was because Zomboid fucking traumatized me slash trained me. Yeah, I mean, it took it's me really a, fucking, a difference. It took me a hundred hours just to figure out how to survive a day. In Zomboid, yeah. I, I'm I'm being hyperbolic, but yeah. Okay, this is to say, like, I know some people have it rough with that game, but goddamn. <laughs> I mean, I'm already incompetent as it is, and then it, it just puts the stress on you automatically. Okay. Yeah. You're just like, I want to die. Oh, let's see. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, oh, that was fucking stupid. Okay, so I've made my, I've made the horde base even more dangerous. Long story short, there's more spikes around, so, you know, do not enter through where the zombies are supposed to go through. Or else you will, you, there's a good chance of you just falling onto spikes and dying. Add barely surviving. cooking pot required. Wait, I have one of those. <laughs> yeah, we have so many fucking cooking pots, dude. <laughs> yeah, definitely not FBI. Yeah, handguns definitely still have their place. They're fucking totally useful weapons that, like... Like, they're, like look, here's the thing about handguns is that, like, the liberals don't seem to understand is that they're more dangerous because of, of their concealable nature than ARs. They're more of a danger to society because you fucking take them anywhere. They're hard to spot, they're hard to pat down for. Fucking, you get enough people armed with them, you can still do a lot of damage, you know, drive-bys and shit. Like, it's... Yeah, hang handguns totally have their place. But, also, like, yeah, if you're looking to defend yourself against, like, mass shooter scenarios, like, for one, probably not really gonna happen. Like, the chance of, like, a mass shooter scenario going at a, at a pace where you could like feasibly put like some like 
I don't I don't know where you'd really have a chance to do like an AR-15 duel CSGO style in a fucking mass shooter scenario. Like that doesn't really seem like a likely thing to present itself. Yeah, because they're on the offensive and I'm Yeah, sure. I mean you're like I'd imagine like like for example with the Buffalo guy, he fucking meticulously mapped that fucking place out. Like that was planned for like months and shit. You're already, you'd, you'd be you're operating already, yeah. on like shakily familiar territory at best. Yeah, you're you know? you're already at a strategic disadvantage in a situation like that. Your best, the best case is to fucking you know one get out if you can. That's run. Fucking now, if you can't run, now is when you start thinking about options. But your first instinct should be, where's the nearest fucking window? I'm out of here. Right. right. Like that should fucking it, those those fucking do they've been teaching kids that for a while now? That's gotten a bunch of kids killed. That you fucking that you you hunker down in the classrooms and shit like that. And the the thought process behind it originally was that like a, a child running across an open field is an easy target, right? And like it no. uh, you know, like, yeah, that was the thought process that like the, the fucking like a crowd of children just f running across a, 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 a like a soccer field. You could just fire rounds into and it's like, yeah, OK, y you're right. That is a viable scenario. What's the alternative that you're proposing? Fish in a barrel. You're proposing fish in a barrel is the alternative. Let me concentrate them in small groups all throughout the location that the shooter is going to be. Cool. That'll be an interesting. Yeah. Interesting right. result. Like in my high school, um, what they had is this, uh, like an inner indoor soccer field, and like you put you put pretty much the entire high school in there, and it was, I think it was for like tornado drills or something. But you put them in there, and you got like a balcony to like to one end of it. Somebody gets up there with a fucking machine gun, you're all fucking dead. Yeah. yeah. The only case where, like, so that sort of strategy can work is if, like, yeah, if you're armed and you're, like, hiding in a closet and, you know, the minute they open the door, you just let off rounds. But, you know, even then, they got the drop on you. They decide when the engagement happens. You know, just the sheer shock of, like, oh, shit, they open the door. Is that just, like, friendly or is that, like, you know, am I looking down the barrel of a rifle? Like, you know, not really, it's not really advisable to put yourself in that situation. Anyone who says that kids running across an open field makes them an easier target to hit has never tried to hit a moving target. Fuck no, they haven't. A small moving target that's screaming for its life. Yeah, it was. It, that's that was the logic behind locking them down rather than running. And the fucking opposite is true. The first the first thing that we teach in like a self defense class is get the fuck out, get the fuck out, get the fuck out. Yeah, get the fuck out. Run, make space, and you know. Yeah. Like, don't distract. Don't try. Try to distract them if you can. Like yeah, like the first fucking thing you should be doing is just GTFO, motherfucker. Like it, so, like the fact that we're just like, hey, let's just lock them in the building with them. <laughs> like that's a natural extension of the of what we've been doing with like the the defense policies with those schools. Like that's how they've been handling that. Is just lock them up in little fucking boxes and wait for the shooter. I wonder if that thought process stems out of the whole nuclear bombing shit. It feels like it, doesn't it? Yeah. It feels like a holdover. But yeah, I don't know. I'll be real with you, FBI. I'm still kind of cringing at you calling the AR-15 the choice of a... F what, what was it? Like a, a, fascist. a fascist choice? Yeah. I just like, dude, come on. I mean, it just takes me back to the AR-15, the cho uh, the world, war uh, the African World War's choice, and frankly, that was always a compliment. And I mean, based off of what we see from fucking fascists, they definitely know how to kill people. So, oh, like, so you wouldn't run an AR pistol with an arm brace? Wait, what? What do you mean? A what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, oh, yeah. yeah, you can you can drop them down. Seriously? <sighs> we drop them fucking here. Yeah. Dude, I swear, the AR-15 is like the straight-up Swiss Army knife of, of weapons. It kind of is. But Swiss Army knives aren't useful, so... Like, here's... You can drop them down. Like, I'm not going to call this what it is, but, I mean, here here you go. Like, I'm not... Right, like, it's got, like, it's got a small... It's got a, full, uh, a small fucking brace on it. What the fuck? 
but that's so scuffed, dude. But like it, it's it's a doable thing. Like you can drop it down pretty far. Um, I don't know why you don't just get like a fucking like a machine pistol at that a, point. It's a pistol legally. Well, I mean, this only goes to prove our earlier point. It's like yeah, the, like pistols as a class of weapons still have plenty of pl plenty of pl uh, of yeah. a place in like a modern armory. They just, you know, they're not useless. What is it? Um, I'm trying to think. It's like the whole... The AT... Uh, of course you would know that, Viscos, you motherfucker. It's like the stereotypical submachine gun from, like, like Call of Duty this games. Fuck, this I think. Fuck, this fuck, this fuck. It's like, why not just go with that at that point? I mean... Like the MP5. Oh, it's that time. Yeah. It's fucking, you know what? I'm out of here. It's fucking nighttime. They're all feral, that's why. Like, wait a second, what's going on here? Tone changed suddenly. Wouldn't recommend dying. Okay, so apparently according to Viscos, those braces are being banned by the ATF. And I, I tend to trust them on these Oh, no, matters. no, I'm, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I just took that as sacrosanct. If anybody is, is just gonna, you know, our little fucking fetishist is going to. Alright. Bike out. Definitely off, yeah. You're calling, you're, you're the one calling the AR 15 a fascist weapon, alright? Right. Fucking. <laughs> Visco knows this shit, I promise you. Yep. This dude has spent, like, fucking thousands and by, thousands by of viscous, dollars. And by viscous, we mean Ray the Gay Away. Yeah, Ray the Gay Away is Viscos. Yeah. He, he, he has a different name on the Discord. Point is, dude knows his shit. He has spent thousands and thousands of dollars on, like, firearms within, eh, like, the that's, time frame That's neither here months. nor there. He, he actually gives a shit about it. <laughs> yeah. Like, you fucking... He's not just some fucking LARPer that just, you know, he, does it to look manly or whatever. He actually, like, No, he actually shit. has the addiction. Yeah. Yeah, he's broken well, inside. Which... What? <laughs> Our, our viscose is a gun. Viscose is like a gun sexual. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, straight up. Like straight up. Yeah. Like licking that muzzle. Like we'll be we'll be casually just like talking on Discord, and he'll find like a like a sale for like ammunition or like a parts kit. Yeah. And All just right. you know. Or every we're month. The first every month he buys his last gun. Oh yeah. <laughs> he'll tell us this is just the last one. I promise, bro. I promise it'll be the last one. Yeah, That's, and then you know, next thing you we, know, we all have our thing. You know, <laughs> it, it, his is guns, right? Like, so just trust us on this one. If Visca says that the ATF released a letter a few weeks ago on this one, they released a letter a few weeks ago on this one. <laughs> oh, Visca is coming with the sources, you beautiful bastard. <laughs> uh, you know. Oh, Kai, you didn't send me the group thing, by the way. What group thing? The for the fucking so we could see oh, where yeah. each other are. I don't have that either. Oh, well, that's because uh, I was off murdering. Um, all right. Let's see. Sent and sent and sent and sent and sent and sent and sent. All right. Uh, there's like a small crowd outside. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm on my way to help. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm entertaining. I'm entertaining. There's a, there's a house party. Um, I don't... I did not consent to the house that I constructed being used this way. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Well, now let me accept. All right. You ready? No. Let me repair. Repaired. Okay. I love how we've just all specked into the same shit. <laughs> Jesus. Hi. My name is Motherfucker, and I'm here to camp. I'm here from Camp Kill Yourself. Oh, uh, yeah, CKY, Hello. dude, CKY, it's been a while. Jesus Christ, can't can't kill yourself. Like that's ba uh, Bam Arger and that crew. I I'm lost. Yeah, dude, you're old, creeping, creeping. You're old, bro. Everyone runs the AR platform, FBI. The fucking uh, the Socialist Rifle Association is a big proponent of the AR-15. There it is. Like. There it is. Uh, there's, there's a letter saying that uh, fucking the yeah, there you, there are being banned. You, there you go. <laughs> fucking. Uh, 
Hey, something died. I ain't reading all that. Yeah. I don't have the brain power for that shit right now. There's... Get on the ball, you old motherfucker. Yeah. Be right back, going to read. Alright. Okay, I mean, have, hey, fun, have, have, have fun reading that one. <laughs> Government documents are always well known for their absolute gripping details. Very stimulating, some could say. Yes. I, I remember when I was in my first year of college, I just thought, I'm gonna have a genius move. I'll read the Constitution and read acts of legislation up until, like, the modern end. Like, oh, oh no. Do you, just, do you just, like, fucking hate yourself or some shit? I was a, I was a super lib, okay, in first year of college, so... Good eat. God. So, yeah, you did just hate yourself. Yeah. Okay. And then... I and then I got depression and hated myself and then the pandemic happened and I became an anarchist and slightly less hated myself. Fair enough. That's a decent arc. Well, hey, look, you go from being toxic, shitty human being who thinks they're a man and then you you have your ego broken, you learn a thing, change yourself, and you're like, "All right. Just fuck it. We're doing a 180." Oh, yeah. I was not a good person. Yeah, you know, we all we all have our journeys. Mm. Alright, there we go. Probably Rag is is a gay homo but doesn't hate himself. Yes. I don't think. <laughs> I don't know, Kai, do you hate yourself? Is it well I mean no more than any other human being does. <laughs> um uh, uh, but uh it is a gay homo. I mean, you know seems kinda of redundant. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's the same. Yeah, yeah. Exiles, like, as a gay homo, as opposed to a straight homo. Special. A straight homo. <laughs> He's special. What is a straight homo? It's uh, it's like the 45-year-old dude bros who are, like, best friends, and they go bowling together. But there's just that homoerotic energy between them. Oh, so basically every group of straight guys. Got it. True. Yeah. Yeah, very true. I, look... I'm not gonna say it, but my my dad has like a group of best friends, and I'm just like, if the apocalypse happened, I feel like you guys would be fucking. I I th I feel like a lot of guys are fucking. I mean, yeah. I, you I, know. I I I'm just gonna straight up say it. it it's not gonna take the apocalypse. Really? Yeah. I don't know. All it, my, take, all it takes is a bad breakup and a couple of drinks. <laughs> my dad and my mom have been married 20 years, so I'm kind of thinking that it's until death do they part at this point. Fair enough. Yeah, I, they actually like each other too. Well, that's disgusting. Solid. <laughs> oh, did you see your your three stack of oils in there, cat? Oh, where is it at? Over here in the secu in the first one. And I feel like such a fucking boomer having to. Oh yeah. All right. I'll start making. I'll start making the 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 the, the bacon and eggs and shit. I brought home the oil. Yeah. And and I will reward you with some like, like some heart disease. All right. I'm like a, I'm a good fucking provider, and give me give me my bacon and eggs, bitch. <laughs> be careful, Kai. You might trigger some people who may be watching. Oh, God. Dude, I that that you know what that that remind I just I can't believe okay so what context the for the rest of the stream fucking for some go. fucking reason like uh, the, the 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 topic of the stream uh, became like you know lefties should you know try to ingratiate themselves in sp in sports right you know fairly harmless take you would think and uh, the fuck how does one make parts of cooking oil. Oh, I don't know. The yeah, the, the 45 parts. What? Okay, so it says I need parts of cooking oil. Okay, well, point is... just I, I, Okay, so each oil container is 45 parts. So whatever right. so whatever a recipe says, if it says, like, I need you need three parts, then a bottle contains 45 and then minus three, and it's got 42 in it, I'd guess. Well, yeah, okay, but the thing is that... uh. It's not letting me do it. <laughs> I don't know. Just get good, cat. I, that's. I guess that's what I have to do. I mean, of course you're getting auto modded, dude. Fucking. Thank you for the love, though. 
I got, yeah, the, I, got the, I got the auto mod set on the lowest possible setting, and you're still getting grabbed by auto mod. So you know, yeah. <laughs> um. All right. Yeah, I was just saying. So yeah. So basically, one day, one day, Kai's streaming. You know, just as as one does, and fucking. For whatever fucking reason, we get onto the topic of sports, and we start watching some like Muay Thai fights, <laughs> and, then there's just, and then there's just fucking people losing their shit, just absolutely fucking. Like I, I remember one comment in particular. It's still I still remember like it was yesterday. It was something to the effect of, uh, you know, as like a trans person, this hits a little bit too close to home. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to like stop engaging with this stream, and it's just like I. What? I dude, I don't fucking know. It's a Muay Thai fight. What the fuck? It's uh, apparently it was just too fucking real, dude. It's like, <laughs> like, yeah, like if you can't watch violence, like, fuck off. But like, also, it's it's like fucking UFC. What the fuck? Yeah, and it was just, and it was like the most like tame fight. There was no bleeding. There was no fucking bruises or nothing. It was just you know, yeah. definitely, like, you definitely had a few drinks creeping. I mean, watching like fights is fun too, you know. Oh like, yeah, I mean that's the thing is like that's literally what we were getting at. It's just like you know, like fucking lefties just like, need to learn how to be normies and just like just chill and fucking I, just. My dad's obsessed with UFC, and I mean it's not my preference, but I'll sit down and watch a few fights. Fucking fun to watch people <laughs> beat the shit out of each other. It is. I do that shit for just for funsies. Uh, it's just yeah we fucking yeah we watched like uh, we watched like half the fucking stream population just disappear so, fucking just fights can't mm. like I can get it if you don't like watching violence but you know I like don't, I don't chill eh it depends on the person unless you got some like clinical reason I don't get it. It's, I don't think it's everybody's preferences, you know. I think they need to be able to watch it. Fair. Yeah. Plus, if you want to watch, like, fun, like, shit that's just, you know, it's fake as fuck, you go watch wrestling. Oh. Right. You I work just, away from wrestling. I just feel like you need to have the capacity to handle it. Yeah, it shouldn't, like, fucking shut you down. Yeah. And if it does, you know, valid, whatever the fuck, but, like, come on. But if it does, when when it comes time to talk about certain topics, know your lane. Right? Like, that's, that's, we, I'm already thinking of the fucking Aussie with DID. Right? Like, straight up, this person could not handle reality, let alone anything. Right? And fucking constantly talking, it, it, insurrectionary anarchism constantly talking about the revol when the revolution comes and it's like you need a chill probably shouldn't have much of an opinion on this topic and so yeah like if that's fine that's fine if you are of sensitive nature fine but when when we when there are certain topics being discussed probably we should all recognize that the person who can't stand to see the sight of blood, even through a TV, probably not going to be working that front line. So let's just keep those delusions to ourselves. Second, second food chest, by the way. Well, the problem that comes is enough, not enough lefties in the online space to like go outside. So I'm like, dude, whatever organization thing you do in real life, just go to a fucking bar for a minute, you know? Just chill. Play some fucking pool or something. Good job, Cupcake. Um, oh, no, I, I'm the one to give him the boot. Just oh, was fuck it. it. I, oh, it was telling yeah. him. Okay, I just saw Cupcake fucking telling him. Yeah, that, no, I just, I, I also was just like, fuck it, he's spamming chat. Thank you, Cup, uh, th thank you, Cat, thank you, Cupcake, but thank you for the follow, Creeping. You're just a little, yeah. you're a little unruly because you you're a little to, you drunk. Need to, you need to sober up. A little bit. <laughs> just a little tiny bit. And then, then you know. No, go straight edge on me. Just, you know, need to relax. Drink some water. Or yeah. some tea. Drink some water, get some coffee, maybe some eggs. You know the deal. Go steal some eggs from uh, 
a, like a doctor's office. Just ah, yes. Oh, so minutes. so I'm about to say some like insanely bougie shit. All um, right, what's good? Um, <clears throat> the benefit is that uh, the benefit of loaning my vehicle to my folks is that my uh, my masseuse, my my guy, my massage therapist, um, he'll be making a house call this weekend. Um, so. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Fun times, Jesus Kai. Christ, Kai. Yes. <laughs> yes. Just envy was felt in the room that day. Yes. Right. I, I, I straight up hit him up and said, like, you know, what's up? And I was like, is it possible? I'm like, I, I'll make it worth your while. I'm like, you know, I'll make you dinner. All right? Because he, he maintains. Oh, my God. He maintains. Ooh. He's like, dude, we're friends. Like, this is just what friends do. Like, he told me, like, I'm like, sure. okay. I, dude, I'm 100%. Like, I feel... I feel manipulative. Like I feel <laughs> manipulative. Like I'm, I'm like, homie, like there's no way I'm not leaning into this. There's too much incentive on my side, but like, it, it's, it's like, dude, you, he's a nice guy. I like talking to him, hanging out. We'll fucking talk through the whole massage. But like, I'm holy shit. Like, how am I, what do you expect me to do? It's like the fucking dude on the stand for the Johnny Depp trial. Who was his like buddy. And he's like, yeah, he offered like uh, p offered me patronage. I'll put just, uh, yeah, I've just got your housing and project money and everything from now on. Like, I just pay you to do, like, do what you want to do. And the fucking attorney asks this dude, did you take him up on that offer? The look on his face, he just, he's like, yeah, obviously. Like, right. you know, come on. What, 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 what am I to do here? Tell the dude who wants to be my friend and is a professional massage therapist who doesn't mind kicking down, like is perfectly happy to do it, to like kick rocks. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you like, you, yeah, you what, okay. like what's, what, what's that, what's that conversation? No, I don't want to be your friend, nor do I want free massages. Oh, I'm fucking god, guy. Okay. Come on. I I love this. This is great. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> fucking gay. <dude. laughs> like fuck off. <laughs> fuck off with that. Like No, no, this is this is adorable. I love it. Yeah, like I so like yeah, I'm like I'm a fucking I'm like, dude, I'll fuck you know, whatever. Dinner's on me. Like come come like, hang out. We'll fucking you know. We'll we'll just I hang just, out. You give me a massage and we'll chill for the rest of the rest of the evening. Like we do every fucking Saturday night. I'm just I'm just living vicariously right now. I'm enjoying this. Yeah, yeah it's, it's this is fun. <laughs> this is this is good. This is good vibes. It's good energy. It's great. Hey, fucking. This is the right kind of queerness. All right. Two, dude. Two, two and a half to three hours, full on af like sports grade massage, and like just completely naked. Right. Like this, this is a whole other level. Like you have to understand. Like there's there's when you're doing the towel dance that like most massage therapists like force you to do um it's it's just this added layer then and you're paying for it there's this other layer right you can't achieve achieve true zen but but with fucking dave i just strip down and fucking it's straight up like if he needs to move something or lift a leg or whatever he's in there he's doing what he needs to do like you would in a fucking locker room basically like it's just like what we, we left that shit at the door nobody gives a fuck we're all naked back here um and so like and i'm not paying for it so i'm not clock i'm like not counting the minutes and so yeah it's dude it's it's kind of perfect <laughs> it's kind of perfect well, I have to ask, how many muscles does he have? Uh, he's a former gymnast. Uh, oh, that that's that's good. Yeah. <laughs> You're just like, mm, you can put my hands on me anytime. No, <laughs> there's honestly no attraction. No. No. I. He's already in. Okay. Bro he's already in the bro category. My brain is highly compartmentalized. Makes sense. Yeah. Like once you're once the like you know yeah he like the first fucking massage, he said you know we finished up and he's like yeah I wasn't sure like you know what you were going to expect and I'm like nah man I'm just here for the fucking af like a, a full full blown massage he's like oh good and like that's when he started geeking out as like a massage therapist he's like dude I can see every muscle group on you like you have no fat on your body he's like you can actually see stuff move he's just like this is perfect to learn off of I'm like I. Fucking this works. 
I'm looking at. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking. What am I gonna do? Fucking. <laughs> A nice guy. He's fucking. He's sane and stable, right? He wants to be my friend, and he's willing to give me free massages. Like, homie. Like, how many reasons do you need to be a friend with a fr somebody's friend? Mm. Like, <laughs> I just, I just hear, I, I just imagine like forty years from now, like you got his notebook in some library, and it's just like a perfect rendition of all the muscle groups of your body written down in some perfect like. Hey. Drawing into some geek shit. Hey, fuck. all right. My contribution to science. Cha Ching. <laughs> it's in there. In the records. Um Red, damn, I could just rejoin to see Chud's getting big mad. Yeah, somebody you get a couple there. Uh Exel, I've never had a professional massage. Neither have uh, a bunch of people. Yeah, Wordy, Cat, fucking Caboose, I think, right? Never had a massage in my life. Yeah. I did uh, it. Yes, just go do it. It's I know, like it's expensive, like and but save up for an entire year if you have to. Go do it. It really is worth saving an entire year to go do it. I, you know, I can't recommend it enough. <laughs> I just I see people doing like the whole like chiropractic shit. No, where they do, like their fucking neck popping. No, like no, no, that looks terrifying. Yeah, no, that is terrifying. Yeah, that's not that's not what we're talking. That's yeah, like if you want, if you want like aches and pains that are related to injury relief, don't see a chiropractor. See a physiotherapist. Yeah, because those people are actually certified and qualified. Chiropractor, yeah. chiropractor, like practices, like they're literally just like it's like the same as uh, like what's the what's the fucking what's what's the term for like a uh, alternative medicine? What's the what's the other? Oh, one? are you homeopathy? Bullshit? Homeopathy. There's, or some shit like uh, like it's literally just like there isn't it's not like Reiki? medically proven it's not like fucking it's not like an actual field of like medical science it's just like focus focus pseudoscience yeah pseudoscience it's, yeah okay I I mean you could just call it bullshit too it works yeah it is bullshit but like I don't know it, it's good to sound smart because people think they're smart for being in a chiropractor um, Don Binary gets a massage every month so I'm so privileged aches and pains. Um, yeah, no, I, I honestly, it's one of those tricks that rich people have. Like it, it's, it's something that nobody like, really talks about, but all the rich people do it. Every rich person, I assure you, every rich person gets massages on a regular basis. It's, Believe it. Yeah. It's just one of those things. It, it's it's it, one of those things that'll like extend your life and shit. Yes. It, it's even if it doesn't extend your life, which it likely does, even if it doesn't extend your life, it makes your quality of life infinitely better i see like 30 minutes minute massages for like 45 bucks in this place on around me so i'm like okay hey. no i mean no. look go <laughs> look don't I, look i'm a i'm college kid level okay yeah that's i, I ain't paying a hundred bucks for a fucking massage well, well wait wait until after college but tuck this knowledge in the back of your head one day, one day will come, you'll have a little extra money in your pocket, and you'll be wondering what the fuck to do with it. Just hearken back to this conversation. And Dude, you already got it in my fucking head already. Like, just if somebody could rub that fucking knot on my shoulder, I'd appreciate it. It, it. it is legitimately one of these things that just until you experience a professional massage therapist who knows their thing and has done, like, you know, a sports level massage program that they, 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 they work at a physical therapist. Um, that's that sort of thing. Like you have no idea. You have no idea. Like you, you, you will, you will walk out of that facility. You will walk away from that room, ideally giggling because you will have so many neurochemicals just going. It will be absolutely ridiculous. So, 60 minute massages is 65. So, I, I look those people again go just not a sports. It's, 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 yeah, it's not a physical therapist grade. It's not a physiotherapy. It's not a, a sports probably massage. Probably just a rub and tug. Well, it's, it's probably the rub that it's not even the tub. I just found a bookstore. Uh, I've, I've, I've been trained too much to just feel disappointed by those, though. Uh, I've been dropping a few books off in the stuff box. Yeah, I saw them in the right hand, the bottom right hand corner. 
There's one that uh, allows you to craft exploding arrows. Appreciate uh, you, boost. Some mm -hmm. one that lets you craft denim jeans. Uh, robotic weapons do 10% more damage, and learn to craft the clothing double pocket mod. It's there. All right. Is. My my build is almost complete from a combat perspective. So now, just now, at level fifty two, I shall start completing quests. <laughs> Typical woman. The men built society and then after all the hard work is done. You best believe it, son. What? I'm the camp wife. Ah, uh, okay. I thought you were like the boy wife with an eye. No, no. I've, I've, I'm full camp wife. I've, okay. I've, I've created the home. I've been cooking the meals. I've been, you know, I created the horde base. I, I've been creating storage. I, I've fucking, you know, I created a mine. Like, yeah, that that is that's all been me. That, you don't even that, have I've, fucking thigh highs. How much of a camp wife are you? You know, it's the apocalypse. Times are tough. <laughs> Excuse you, even in the apocalypse, we always have high highs. Husband. That is fair. That's why the zombies keep coming around. It's the way you're dressed. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Tea time! Yeah. yeah, stay on this side. Ooh, was that learn how to? Hang on. I'm interested in that one. What was that? All right, I'm interested. Does a baseball bat count as a club? Yes. Okay. If you wanted one, I could craft one for you as well. I can make. That was that was on the table. The the biggest downside of the baseball bat is that they have to be repaired with a repair kit. They're not able to be repaired, but uh, just normally. It depends what their damage is as to whether that math is worth it. Um, what I've noticed that there's is that there's more reach than the club. That's the big advantage, and I've have gotten multi hits off of them. So, what level it's can part you of the craft? Equation. What happened? What level can you craft? Five. Okay, I'll take one. Alright, uh, if I you can, can bring me some duct tape, I'll I, have it for you. I can only- well, I'm in a whole other town. Um, oh, well. Alright, let's see, what am I- uh, I can do- oh, wait, 50 fucking forged iron? Jesus Christ. Yeah, again, it's, it's worth, like, it's not- You have one, right? What's the damage? I have- What's the damage? I have one on- f I have one that's level 4. What, what, okay, so what's the level 4? I can craft one of those. It's uh, twenty four point six melee damage and forty two power attack damage. Okay, yeah, I'll t I'll that'll work. I'll uh, I've got the duct tape, so. All right, but again, I can craft level five, so you know. Yeah, no, I'll when I come back, I'll be taking one of those level fives. All right, Caboose, uh, if you're gonna be if you're gonna head out, uh, just turn off the shit. That's going on inside the base. Oh my God, Caboose is. Caboose has gone silent. He's Sorry, I'm concentrating on sorting my inventory right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was just saying, like, uh, you know, if you're going to head out, just remember to turn off all the shit inside the base so we don't get, like, hordes being attracted to the heat. Yeah, the heat signature thingy. Uh, I can make an AK-47. <laughs> I, I just... I we don't have the ammo to justify that yet. Yeah, like, wait a second. Yeah, well, as soon as we get coal, we will. Ooh. Yeah. Think we well, were... we also need a reliable stream of brass, too. That's the other problem. <laughs> IRL or... Uh, you know what? <sighs> I don't think I could get you a... 
a, a, a finely tuned working product, but you know what? I can get you most of the way there. All right. What? <laughs> AK-47. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, a parts kits are wonderful things, non-binary. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking outside of parts kit. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, mm. yeah, they exist. I need to start looking into getting a handgun myself. Um, I mean, again. honestly, okay. Oh, For everything that? that I said before, like, honestly, like, oh. they're not, like. Well, uh, I'm just. I'm just trying to get one so I can start getting training for it more than anything. For sure. And that's one of those things where it's like you get a lot of training without necessarily owning one. True. It's just, yeah. Like, I bought myself a knife for the first time that's like... Uh, like you know, a proper one? Yeah. Just look, kind of like a pocket knife. Just something little, you know. Right. Well, that, I would actually pause, it takes probably more training than the, than the handgun. True, but it's kind of that you got a tool in case somebody decides to fucking assault me at some point, you know? Right, well that's what I'm getting at, is that, like, that probably takes more training than the handgun. Because the thing about knives is that they're really shitty for self-defense, like, in general, because... Generally speaking, if you can't, like, wrestle someone off of you and, like, continually control their wrists and their posture, knife's gonna be pretty much a non-factor. Yeah, I mean... Just, like, you know... Yeah, I mean, I'm six foot two, and I've got some fucking weight, so I, I can use that, and I took some jujitsu classes, so I've got some nice. of that left over. More than anything, the knife is just kind of say, hey, fuck off. For sure. But that's yeah. one, that's also one of those things where it's like, if somebody's really about it, they know they know that if somebody's flashing their weapon at them, they don't want to use it. Mm. I think that's just, you know, yeah. that's just how it is. Well, I never want to use it, but if it comes yeah. down to it. Well, what I'm saying is that, like, you know, if you, if you if you show it, that shows that you don't want to use it, and you know, people who are really about it will, will know that kind of instinctively. Mm. Yeah, well, I'm trying to I'm trying to lean towards the medic side right now, so <laughs> I I hope I'm not in that situation where I have to fucking use it. Yeah, 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 I'm just saying, like, you know, if you want the most effect out of it, don't let them know that you have it. That's yeah. kind of what I'm trying to get at. Yeah, but if it's if it's to potentially stop any aggression, then it's like you use it to flash. Is that is that why Kai flashed his weapon? Oh, uh, non biter, your treasure. Don't bo burn potatoes again, okay? <laughs> I'll never get over that. Uh, I mean, at present, they can't because they're forbidden from using the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, the, ro the roommates cracked down and we're just like, yeah, nah. You're, you're not allowed to use the stove no more. I hate to say it non-binary, but I probably do the same thing too. Yeah, for real. I work hard. Look, non-binary for real. You gotta get that sorted. I, I, like, I don't care if it's ADHD. I don't get like job, You have a smartphone? Yeah, you gotta you gotta start building those coping mechanisms now. If you got like an attention thing. Definitely, uh, by uh, unfortunately, if you're carrying a sword, you ain't fucking swinging that shit. Okay, eighty-five percent of people aren't trained with swords nowadays. Eighty-five? You gonna go with eighty-five, huh? That's yeah. an oddly specific number. There's a lot of white men in the world. Okay. They're not. They're not trained. Yeah, if anything, I was gonna say it'd probably be more the global south of anything that knows how to use that you that knows how to swing a sword. Why the fuck would they get a sword if you got fucking like warlords on your ass? You get guns. That's just fun to have a sword. Well, if you're in the global south, you ain't doing it for fun. <laughs> well, no, I mean, like even look, even even in like war torn areas of like the world, there've always been like dipshits that are willing to have fun with their violence. Yeah. That's just, but, you know, that's just lot, people. A lot, of, a lot of people get off on using guns, too, though, so... Yeah. Carry a musket like the Founding Fathers intended, said Red. <laughs> oh, someone get that copy pasta. Oh, the oh that's the yes. Yeah. It's the Founding Fathers intended. Oh. <laughs> this ghost does, like, a whole voice whenever he reads that one. It's funny. Ooh, 
what are you? Wood splitter yeah. mod schematic. Alright. If you're fast enough, you can whack the bullet with your sword. Nah. Right. I mean, you could. But all that would just re result in is bullet is just bullet going through your sword. Uh, not if you catch it on the edge. Fair enough. Jesus Christ, Kai, you can run fast. Yeah. What? I wasn't running. Ryan is skinny little butt. Run. That was that was cat near you. Why does she flirt with you two, but she doesn't flirt with me? <laughs> <sighs> what? <Jesus Christ>. <laughs> Fucking jet. Okay, so there's a traitor that we that me, Kai, and Caboose have to suffer through every time we uh, do anything. And uh, for just for whatever reason, she just sexually harasses me and Kai. Just because. <laughs> okay. No, See, no, I'm not, I'm, not fucking, guy here I'm not fucking. I'm literally not joking at all. That is that is a <laughs> core part of her character. No. She'll just fucking. She will. She will like viciously flirt with me and Kai anytime we talk to her. That's... And just. And she's just using us because she's in danger. Yeah, she's fucking. She's using us to get out of debt. Debt from the mob. Yeah. Like we're straight up, she straight up admits to like being using us at the same time as like just ridiculously flirting with us. Yeah, just like oh hey, you're back. You know, it's a good thing that you got this finish for me because you know I have uh, I have some uh, things to settle with the Duke. You know, and then just you know gives us whatever bullshit we have to do. Meanwhile, we're dying of a preventable illness. She won't give us a break on antibiotics. Yeah, she won't give us- she, she won't just hand us some fucking antibiotics. Goddamn man cats. She fucking- dude, she wants our dick. She- she wants us to bail us out with the fucking mob. And she won't hook us up with antibiotics for dying of a preventable illness. Yeah. So, forgive us, we're not fans. <laughs> And then Caboose is just over here like, why isn't she fucking harassing me on the daily? You don't deserve it. Damn. You see, she is able to see into the sins of people. And she sees your sins. So her, her punishment is sexual harassment. It's yeah. because I'm a furry, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's because you're a trained person. What? I don't know. Well, I, I'm not going to say tram, train, and then me. Okay, I ain't going to say that shit here. I'm lost. What? I like it. Instead of 100%. furry, caboose, trains. Is that an autism joke? Well, if you're... <laughs> I don't know. I'm lost. If you're into... Tr if you're a furry, but if you're instead like a train, it's like Thomas the Tank Engine. It, I've never. Heard, I'm not. I'm not. Are there, yeah, people, se are there people sexually attracted I, to trains? I this shit out of my ass. Don't. Are there people? Are there people sexually attracted to trains? <laughs> Probably. I, I'm sure I there are. I can't do non-binary. I can't yes. click that right now. Come on, man. Okay. People are sexually attracted to many things. Okay, so it's possible. God damn it. I saw. I saw one of those like a uh, show. What's what's it called? Like My Strange Addiction or some shit like that. There's a dude who would fuck his car's uh, uh, exhaust pipe. I think I've seen that guy before. Yeah. There's no Whatever way that feels good. I, uh, he did it regularly, so... Oh wait, I zoned out for a second. He did what regularly? He would fuck his car's uh, exhaust. I, I just imagined the game changer um, thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the Benunu up the... <laughs> um... Like, gotta put the banu up the, the snoot. Gotta put it up the exist poop. Japan has a lot of train spotters. Dude, that that country has something deeply wrong with it. I don't we, go. We did nuke it twice. I, I know, but there's just something it's, else is boiling there in Japan. There's, there's everything has something deeply wrong with it. No. Damn it. No. <laughs> there's something unique about Japan. And I refuse to be told otherwise. That, I feel like you're just drawing on some, like, mystical energy shit that I can't top into right now. No, no, I'm saying, like, no, nah, like, memes aside, like, 
it's interesting to see like the, the mindset of like a nation that was like ostensibly fascist was defeated like they had their like power cult basically destroyed it before their eyes and they didn't really ideologically shift all that much they just kind of became subservient it's a, it's an interesting case study yeah let me fair it's like if i don't know if like uh 1812 got us to fucking lose and just see how that went yeah Okay, well, Jen's compensating me well for my time. Because for some reason, she has just started giving me ammo as rewards for her quests. Um, electronic store and gas station. Ooh, based. You just got me thinking Zomboid real quick. I was about to say, like, when do you think we could get a generator set up in front of there? <laughs> a gas and electric. There we go. And we'll share that with everyone. Thank you. X marks the spot. I'm on the spectrum and I can't fuck stamps and bionicles are too expensive. It's either trains or nothing, says Red. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I'm glad that you could vibe with whatever the fuck that was in here. Uh, Axel, I just remember one time when I was in middle school, a girl in my grade accidentally walked next to a running but parked car and her thigh came in contact with a burning hot exhaust pipe. I'm going down a hill. Wee! No hands, mom. Uh, apparently, some uh, some very severe burning. Anyways, I always think of this uh, whenever that guy who fucked his car from Strange Addiction pops up, and I wonder what would happen to his dick if he tried to fuck it while the car was running. Oh, <laughs> no! I don't want to think about that. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to either. That's 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 a bit. That's a bit above my pay grade. I. You have like people who talk about like the fucking teeth movie. I just get very uncomfortable. Well, I mean, I get uncomfortable just because we're talking about vagina. Jesus Christ. Okay. But imagine any hole with teeth and you're just like, no. Oh, God. Don't, definitely not a, if a FBI. Uh, so now that everyone has firearms, do you think of ar thinking of armoring your car? I mean, if I could afford it. Yeah. Unironically? Yeah. Why not? It'd be amazing. That'd probably be a better investment than buying a firearm, frankly. Fucking. The fascists just start armoring their cars for the fucking running through people? I mean. I you, mean, yeah. That's you seen, kind of already. Like, yeah. You seen some of these rigs? I haven't paid any cars. I knew a dude who was like a former, like a uh, former Marine dude was like fucking straight up off like the deep end and he fucking had like this uh, he had this like what was basically a civilian version of a monster truck as his fucking just like day to day truck it was like fucking you know it had like the reinforced like bumper and everything it, was, it had like fucking wheels like th you know like three fucking three for four like tall wheels and shit and yeah if he fucking wanted to roll through the crowd that'd be no problem at all yeah i mean it doesn't take much with a car no it doesn't it's just the accelerator yeah and uh will to not live yeah Uh, all right. Um. Oh, yeah, no, like for real. If I if I if I could afford it, yeah, fucking yeah. Let me pimp out my fucking car with the, uh, you know, with like bulletproof windows and all that sort of shit. Next on pimp my ride. I dude, that's I I'm real surprised that isn't like a, a thing like an apocalyptic version of a pimp my ride. Fair, true. Like, yeah. uh, my, my parents used to watch that show a little bit when it was running, and I'm just like, these are all nice and shit, but you know, 
You got enough of those doomsday preppers. Yeah, what is Exhibit up to these days? I don't know, but what's Ja Rule doing? Can we get him to weigh in on this? I actually do wonder what what's up with Ja Rule. Who's Ja Rule? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fuck like, it was like a, You know what? Like you know what? Just go back to college. Fuck 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 everybody <laughs> under a certain age. Fucking A. I don't need to be preyed upon by a nearly 40 year old man, okay? Yeah, yeah, trust me. <laughs> Fucking I don't even consider you a person yet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm old enough to drink, so you can eat my ass, boomer. Fair enough. You're too poor to even afford a bidet. I wouldn't touch that ass. <laughs> uh, I think I could get a bidet. I think I have enough money. All right. What was that? Airpin my ride wouldn't wouldn't fix any mechanical issues with the car. Yeah, it was like purely just for show. Yeah, dude, they didn't that, actually like. Yeah, that yeah. dude. That get, that show was fucking janky as shit. They fucked over a it's, bunch of people. Fuck yeah, they did. Okay, so Camp Wife. There's some potato seed recipes here, some mushroom spore recipes, and a pumpkin soup recipe. Currently? Okay, well, based. Thank you. But I'm also currently questing right now. Yeah, that's unacceptable. Get your ass back in the kitchen where you belong. <laughs> um, All right, well, let me just, you know, let me wrap up here. Let me go see Chen. Um, official version coordinator is in voice chat. Uh, fucking, yeah, that's Viscos. That's official Ray the Gay Away. Official Violets coordinator. <laughs> official Virgin coordinator as oh, well. It's, it's, oh, yeah, we changed him. Uh, yeah. What's up, you fuck? You're on the air. Just know that. Yeah, we're on stream. I, I moved him. Wait, please, please tell me that he's, like, just about to show us his, like, his Miami McDonald's internet. <laughs> Um, also, Caboose, I think this might matter to you. There's a trigger group schematic here for making burst mods. Um, so. Uh, I think that only applies to machine guns. I don't use machine guns. Okay. Yes. Uh, do you use Grinder, Kai? No. God, no. I think Kai's gone on record several times he doesn't use Grinder. Yeah. Yeah, but this is not a regular viewer, so. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so there's all that stuff. I moved the books all over to one fucking place. I feel like Thank Kai you. has a little more self-respect than Grinder. No, it's just the not. It's just rough. not. It's just not freaky enough. Mm. That is also true. It's in that like really weird in between space where it's like it it pushes away than like straight vanillas, but it also like doesn't really, you know, uh, doesn't really yeah. pan out of the kinky crowd either. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just go through Tinder routes. That's where I am. I'm not really a fan of, like, uh, dating apps in general. I think it's just, like, a zero-sum game. Oh, I've never had any success with Tinder. I'm not a fan of it either. Uh, not really useful. But I've met some people. Like, um, i head up next week to a guy in Joplin, so... You know what? A decent one that I've had some fun with would be, uh, was Bumble. Bumble was cool. Like when it was like first like kind of making the rounds, like that 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 led to some interesting dates. It was fine, uh, not really that much. Whenever I uh, got on it, when I was like a year ago. Right. Uh, you left the the crate locked, Kai. Thank you. All right, let me get the recipes learned. Pumpkin soup, mushroom spores, potato seed. Red said I was a big fan of Okay Cupid. Not gonna lie, uh, Aspen. That's said, a decent one too. Aspen said I just need someone to uh, let me lead them around on a leash, then cuddle after. All the science ain't shit when you're rural. Yeah, that's true, Aspen. Like I, I could, I could, hundred percent hook you up with somebody who wants to just be led around on a leash, then cuddle afterwards. That's easy. <laughs> But you're yeah, you're in bumfuck nowhere. I can't help with that. All right, Viscos, is your shit working now? <laughs> loser. Take that as a no. Loser. Florida loser. Of what being in Florida does to a motherfucker. <laughs> um. You know what? I will keep.
keep one. Why not? Grinder and roll areas is horrible. Grinder is just kind of a shitty experience all around. Okay, I only want cuddles, and I reckon that's not a thing. Okay, Cupid would fucking work with that. It's all I'm good. I'm just only nice. Nice Aspen. Aspen's just saying it's all good. I'm gonna get into the Portland uh, Portland kink scene ASAP. There's a part of me in the back of my brain that's interested in the kink scene, but I'm like, I'm too much of a wuss for that shit. Oh, then you're that's a dom. Good to know Congratulations. Fuck like every single dom I've ever met outside a very limited few. Fucking, they're all pussies. It's like, come here, let me let me pinch your nipple. No, ow, it hurts. Yeah, I know, right? Weren't you just like basically tearing mine off my chest there a few minutes ago? Yeah, but you're a sub and you're a masochist. <laughs> Shit, there you go. Have you all heard about this pineapple singer code thing? I can't say that I have. Nope. Pineapple what? Swinger I... code. Mm. I don't. I don't fuck around with swingers. I don't know. Oh fuck you! Um. Yeah. There's that one. Get out of jail free card. All right. Hey, Viscos. If you gotta work in this time, loser. All right, Viscos. <laughs> you haven't worked in this time. Told you. It's what motherfucker. It's what Florida does to a motherfucker. Hey, he's trying. He is trying. Uh, Aspen, I'm a sadist for sure. And Adis, Aspen, the best thing I can tell you is go learn how to be a masochist. <laughs> I, I, I honestly, yeah, like the best thing I ever did for like the like that portion of my brain that's a, still a sub is like being a dom. Like, dude, I'm like, oh, that's right. These fuckers suck at this. this <laughs> like, you really do. I, I've I have no respect for a dom anymore that hasn't been a sub. Go spend some time. You're not gonna enjoy it in the same way a masochist or a sub would. You never will. But you got to experience it. You got to know what you're in for. You got to see it from the other side. Like, how are you going to know? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, oh, I teach skydiving. Really? How many jumps do you have? Oh, no, I don't skydive myself. What? That seems like that should be a prerequisite. That's my current quest. Te uh, teach me how much you suck. Uh, teach, uh, teach me, I think, how much uh, you suck is making me a sub. Uh, hey, there's, a, there's uh, you know what? There's fair play. There's equal. There's equal parts bad doms to bad subs. Nice, another level. All right. All right. Get this level. Actually, first let's look around. All right. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, can't put points in that. Also, apparently, Viscos is like being eternally disconnected mm -hmm. whenever he joins. So I don't know what's up with that. Okay. So that's that maxed out. This gives me what? 240, 260. Okay. Cool. I just realized those crawlers are called Gollum. Yes. Yes, they are. So I think, uh, yeah, I grabbed that food. Oh, did I? Mm, no, I didn't. All right. Hey. 
kind of trippy to think about the fact that, like, theoretically in this game, there's an infinite loop because of how the trader system works. And so, well, I... In what way? Like, you, you just... As long as you keep accepting quests, there's never really going to be a situation where POIs just cease to have any loot ever. So that's stupid meta, Jesus Christ. It is, I mean, it's a natural byproduct of their system. Uh, so basically what Kat's talking about is that, like, points of interest in this game get automatically refreshed when you accept the quest. Not when we get the quest from this chick, but when you go on site, there's an exclamation mark, and you fucking press E to accept quest. When you do that, it, like, resets all of the blocks in the point of interest, uh, which you can take advantage of, by the way, if you fucking loot the area, accept the quest, and then loot, uh, loot the area again. So, hmm. yeah, yeah, infinite loot. You could you could theoretically just play this game solely doing like the trader quests, and never will you ever run out of loot. Okay, and that's not even getting into what the trader themselves holds. So I need to reset the generators, clear out any zombies inside, and do this job at night. Okay. Okay. Just Be let me know. And try not to get yourself killed. Oh, yeah, I want to check your inventory, too, while I'm here, just in case. I probably have some cash. There we go. All right, what you got, sexual harassment, Jenny? Dude, I fucking hate killing bunnies in this game. Why? They, they, they scream. Oh, <laughs> bunnies scream in real life. Cat, if the real apocalypse ever happened, you'd probably be very useless if you can't stand killing an animal. It, I mean, like, that that is kind of my thing, is like, if this shit ever popped off, I'm definitely not trying to survive. Make yourself I, as I, comfortable I, as possible. Well, you just yeah, no, it's just like, I, I already know, what like, if a zombie apocalypse broke out, that's, that's, that's it for me. I'm mm -hmm. good. I've, I've lived long enough. A good portion of people, including myself, would probably die. All right, it's a it's one point. Oh, kind of. Let me share it. One point four kilometers. Yeah, it's one point four kilometers, like basically out back of the base. All right. I'm doing it. Jesus Christ. Oh. There we go. Oh, uh, so I heard Viscous is going to um, join that was that Mothers Against Firearms Deaths or something like that. Viscous has turned over a new leaf, I heard. He sent me a DM saying how he's, yeah. he's going to sell all his guns and donate the proceeds to um, the, the charitable foundation set up in the name of the uh, Lovade uh, school children that were uh, massacred. It's very generous. Yeah, yeah no, it's, it's it's interesting seeing his transformation over the years. Yeah. Now, uh, you know, he's growing up. He's growing up. He's le he's leaving childish things behind. Right. How many guns does he have? I would stick around long enough to get fucked over by someone and shot in the back. Nah, I'd ask him like for real. I have, if a fucking apocalypse is going down, that is that's it for your boy. I'm I'm chilling. It it's the song. It's going down for real. Jesus fucking Christ. Alright, there we go. Alright. I am the Bill Burr bit. I am the Bill Burr. What? Sort of a mix of... I'm hearing in my head um, the, the cheesy song and line from the original Mortal Kombat movie. I am the chosen one. But mixed with Bill Burr. I am the Bill Burr bit. <laughs> The fuck? How do I unpin? Oh, uh, there's a, there's a, there's an X on it. Okay. Yeah, top right corner. Um, it is quite an arc. 
Um, okay, Visco Viscos is saying one more time. <laughs> one Let's try. more time. What? Oh, I love that fucking song. I, man, I... <sighs> so, I'm so fucking sad Daft Punk broke up. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. And I and I do kind of dis... Like, I appreciated what they were doing with Random Access Memory, but I just, I don't know. I really love like... Random Access Memory. It's a good album. It's fucking amazing, but, like, I don't know. It didn't Keep really feel like... Keep still my favorite, but I think Random Access Memory is my second... It's just my thing is that it didn't really feel like Daft Punk. Like, it was a good project, and, you know, they brought their flair to it, but it just didn't really feel like them. Alright. Cat, whenever you're ready. I thought you said we had to start at night. I know, but I'm gonna start heading that way. Okay, well, let me get this one last like, quest done. There's always then, shit you know. on the way. I'm, I'm fucking... There's like a fishing house out here. I'm gonna stop by, yeah, bait shop. I've already got, like, waylaid and distracted by. Yeah, my thing is I don't have a bike, so... Yeah. Stay down, Kevin. And give me your money. I just beat a, beat a dude named Kevin up that looked kind of... Well, developmentally disabled, shall we say. And then I took his money. Wow, Kai, ableist. Fucking boy. Like, I'm pretty sure I just committed a hate crime. <laughs> okay, so that's good to know. Molotovs don't do that much structural damage. Yeah, I've used a couple of them. But I was, I was yeah. not that, like, I was like, okay, that's, that's manageable. Definitely not zomboid. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was the one that had to have, like, a bunch of candidates uh, removed, right, Exel? Like, they lost a bunch of candidates. Because of that voter fraud. Jesus Christ, I'm hearing a fair amount. Where'd they all come from? Oh, okay. I see. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna need to get around you, please and thank you, please and thank you. Ah shit, I'm infected. Where did you... It's just a wandering horde. It's just a wandering horde. That's a big-ass horde. Just literally just fucking spawn into a wandering horde. Yeah, I don't have antibiotics because my traitor is a horrible, horrible human being. I could hear you hold him back. Oh, it's that one. That, that shit where they... Made a bunch of fake signatures. Yeah. Yeah, I heard about that one. It's fucking funny. Same party that says widespread voter fraud, and here they are. This motherfucker right here. Voting fraud for me, but not for you. Yeah. Fuck you. You know, I wish Democrats were guilty of half the shit they accuse them of. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, At least then the Democrats would actually be doing something. Be a functional party. Universal healthcare of socialism? Where is that? Also, uh... This case is in chat again. Oh, voice chat? Okay. Let me just get his ass over. Man, this pipe shotgun kind of sucks shit. I just, I, I coughed one. Yeah, it's rough. Well. Alright, let's just try it. Holy shit, can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes, yes we can! Holy shit! Dude, I'm in a civilized part of the city now, okay? So we got internet. <laughs> Holy shit, dude! I hate Miami so fucking much, dude. Oh my god! 
I Why hate this. Why did you hey. move? Because my brother moved here, and he well, was like, what? "Hey, do you want to, do you want to live here for a while?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure." You cool. Why didn't you say no? Because I want to see my brother, man. Yeah, well, you get to see your brother in Florida, so enjoy. Yeah, I hate it. I hate the people. I hate the state. It's hot. It's muggy. It's smelly. Uh, everyone stinks. Uh, everyone is just. Uh. I'm becoming a. You know what? I'm becoming a hardcore tanky, and you know why? Why? Wait, can you, can you still hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So why, why are you becoming a tanky? I'm becoming a tanky because these rich fucking assholes block traffic with their fucking yachts, okay? We have drawbridges <laughs> bridges here, and I sat there for 30 goddamn minutes, okay, waiting for these rich assholes in their fucking fancy yachts going in and out of the harbor. It, I hate it. <laughs> well, yeah, welcome to why we hate rich people. Okay, uh, I wanna... You know what I can't say that because Kai's live streaming and I don't want to get him banned again. But uh, you know, redacted. Okay, redacted. Uh, uh, hey, yeah, uh, all yacht owners are bastards. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And just the materialism and the bourgeois degeneracy that I see down here is disgusting. <laughs> Ooh, spicy. It kind of, you were, man, okay, so this is what we need to do to every single, like, liberal. Move, we just need to, to send Miami. them to Miami. <laughs> That's Honestly, all it takes. LA would probably do the trick even better, you know what I'm saying? Come out here, my boy. No. Come out to, no, no, come out to Vegas. Yeah, it, no, 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 it, no, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't like this. Um, fucking, no, I think, I think Los Angeles isn't, isn't as cramped as Miami is. And so I think that's I think that's a, a key element here is him being like pinned oh up against the oh wall God, all the time. Dude, all the nippies in this fucking state, holy shit. Your your more voice is getting a little rough there, but yeah, we can I can still hear you to complain about the nimbies, but you know. Oh man. Dude, fuck this snake, bro. Dead ass. Where did you live before? Ohio. Ohio. Yep. Why the fuck? Why would you go from Ohio to Florida? I know, I uh, downgraded severely. Yeah. Mm. Although, to be fair, I, I did live in Montana for like two weeks. Uh, Alright, well, that's a personal problem. That was, that was the real downgrade. Mo Montana's fucking beautiful. I love that state. It's probably my favorite state. Alright, there we uh, go. Guess who's got a bicycle? Congratulations. Your mom? Hey, Joe. I love you people, you know that? <laughs> Joe said, I'd love to move to Nevada, to be perfectly honest. I mean, I don't know, Joe. It's a fucking hell state. It is. People I could live in Arkansas more if there wasn't a bunch of racists and shit. Yeah, man. Isn't, like... Isn't like everyone like a racist down there? Is hey, 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 is hey, a hey, good hey. majority. It is it is their cultural tradition. Please stop. Respect their culture, Viscus. Respect their I, their culture. Oh please. bro, you know dude, no. you know what's a racist ass state? Fucking Idaho. I was up there oh, for yeah. a few days. Holy shit, bro. Alright, I need just like a few more kills here. Like I'm uh, I'm uh, off myself for fucking deal with this infection, but I ain't wasting all this XP. Oh, that's another thing I hate about this fucking state. There's no parking anywhere. Well, duh, it's the fucking middle of Florida. Good luck getting in parking unless your friend has an apartment somewhere. Oh no, it's it's not even the middle. Yeah, it's... I'm looking for apartment. I, I I'm I'm driving and I'm going home and I'm trying to find parking. Parking is for rich people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, something that straight pisses me off is um, right around the university, you can't park fucking anywhere, and the only Dixon parking lot is soon getting renovated over, so it's like, fuck this, dude. Oh, uh, do you, like, you have paid student parking? Uh, well, you have the paid student parking, but I avoid that shit out of that. You yeah. got, like, uh, right off of the university is, like, five bucks, uh, every day. 
parking level, and it's nice as hell, and they're getting rid of it. Why would they get rid of it? Um, because they hate people? Duh? Yeah, they're just, they're just ontologically evil. Yeah, well, you see, Fable is called the right mixture of bougie and poverty, okay? You go, like, just outside of the main rich people area, it's rough. But you, you go in there, and it's, like, rich, upper-middle-class white people. Uh, my people. Uh, there's this one place in, uh, in my hometown of Cincinnati called Over the Rhine, and it's kind of like that. Like, half of it is just, like, desolate, poor black people, and then, like, the other half is, like, rich, 20-something white and Asian yuppies. I like the fact that you use the word yuppie. Yeah, that's that's what they are. Like it's near downtown, so like and like all the good like tech jobs and shit are like near downtown, you know. Right. What's what's great is like Dixon Street is fucking awesome because you got like bars, you got people from everywhere. Like you got your white people that are dominated and shit, but you got all sorts of people. Hmm. What'd you say? I was. I didn't really huh. say anything. I was about okay. to, I was about to say you're shitting me, but it's just because of this fucking weapon needing repairs the instant I fucking went for it. Gotcha. There we go. Alright, Kai, uh when do you wanna make a run for that fucking that thing? The, uh, the quest? I need like one or two more kills here so I can like level this and then I'm gonna eat some glass. Alright, cool. I need to get some more food, I'm fucking hungry. I'm telling you what, Miami is at least at least 70% white if you include all the white people who speak Spanish. <laughs> you you are actually starting a new tanky. This is hilarious. It is. Listen, listen, listen. We are being poached, okay? You got all these these white Hisp quote unquote Hispanic people who just speak like Spanish, right? But like and because they speak Spanish, they identify as Hispanic, so so we're getting poached, you know? You said the demographics aren't right. We are still the majority. <laughs> yes, we are the majority, okay? Everything's fine, okay? We just need to... We just, Everything is okay, okay? I love you, Viscos. You know that? I love, I love, I love all people. But I also love you. I also <laughs> heard you're selling off your guns. Yeah, yeah, that's that's an interesting new character arc of yours, Viscus. You're selling your Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. I heard you were selling all your guns and donating the proceeds to a, a school shooting charity. That would be a good meme. But uh, I actually, I mean, most of the guns I've ever owned have been sold uh, to buy new guns, of course. Uh, how, how many guns do you have? Uh, right now I only have one, but I have owned a total of seven. Yeah, seven. Keep in mind. Uh, keep in SKS, mind. Tell tell the kids how old you are, Viscus. I am I am twenty years old, but I'm going to be twenty one next month. So what the fuck, dude? You're younger than me. Jesus. Let's see. There was the the SKS. There was the Galil, the Ruger ten twenty two, the Mosin Nagant, uh, the AR fifteen. Um, let's see, there was, there was, there was two others. What, what were the two others? Um, oh, I know where I don't right. even remember. I don't even remember. <laughs> How many times have you played, like, I don't know, Call of Duty, um, like, World dude, War Two shit? Dude, I played the fuck out of Black Ops 2, okay? Yeah, I, I, I can hear it. And Black Ops 1. <laughs> Why do you think I got the Galil? I got the Galil because of Black Ops 1. You know? Yeah. We used to play we used to play zombies together. Yeah, we used to play Black Ops 3 zombies a lot. We yeah, we played the shit out of Black Ops. I still remember Dry and Drock. Yeah. That dude, I you know what's fucked up? I could probably still create half of those bows. Bro, I still know how to create all the staffs on Origins. I can do the entire Easter egg on Origins by myself. Like I, I, I remember like I remember like three months ago, I bought Black Ops 2 because it was like on sale and all the DLCs were on sale uh, on Steam. And I fired up Origins. I didn't look up a single fucking guide and I just did the Easter egg in one run. 
it's like muscle memory that's like being unlocked, you know? <laughs> My uh, brother spent like a year focus on that game, and he fucking memorized the fuck out of it. Or I wish the 360 tracked how many hours you put into a game, because I do, I must have put 2,000 hours into Black Ops 2 back in the day. Holy shit. My, I remember when they released uh, the whole entire spiral of the entire plot of like Black Ops zombie shit. Yeah, and... they, they 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 already retconned it. Yeah. Oh, they did. Okay. Dude, well, my, don't, my... don't ever get attached. Don't ever my... get attached. Oh, I didn't. I my just my brother spent three hours explaining to me the entire plot of it. Yeah, and he was wrong. Like within like two months. <laughs> like I'm serious. Like when it comes to the the the. the the Black Ops, like, zombies, like, fucking lore and the way that they've written it is probably the most in-depth, like, uh, fucking writing that the Call of Duty franchise is ever engaged in. And nothing else comes close to it. And it is stupidly convoluted for the sake of being stupidly convoluted. And we all remember when it. it was, uh, yeah. remember when it was just, like, you know, crazy German scientist, drunk Russian, fucking weird-ass like Japanese, Japanese person yeah, yeah. and like and like you know uh, uh flamboyant and overly jingoistic American remember it was just like those four guys and the plot line was just you know, shoot zombies at random locations I mean even then there was still like you know like peakings of like what it, what it was supposed to be because like uh, if tank Debsy was there to like rescue that dude who fucking parachuted and died and like it was you know they were, they were still there in Shinonuma Fuck. <laughs> why, are you, why are you bringing me back, Viscous? Why are you doing this to me? Why do I have to explore these neural pathways again? Dude, I'm just... Oh, you see, that that's my fault, not his. I'm just trying to find a single fucking zombie at this point. Jesus Christ. Hey, there's one, finally. Holy hey, shit, Jack. yeah, you're right there. Hey. Up. What's up, Caboose? So I have a... Uh, Art of Mining Volume 5. Craft basic resources like ore, stone, and wood into more compact stacks that are easier to carry. Oh, thank fuck. Alright, we already need that. Because we're already running out of storage space. Alrighty. Yes. Um, thank you so say, much. Can I just say one thing, okay? It's very... I'm very disappointed in you lefties, okay? And do you know why? Why? Because I was scrolling through left-wing Twitter, okay? And y'all, y'all are just like having the worst takes on firearms possible, okay? Oh, yeah, well, all that's... of you motherfuckers. Listen, it's just because fucking children were involved this time, okay? All you motherfuckers are like pro gun control now. It's it's disgusting. I, like I expected okay. the liberal side, my side, to be like you know having shit takes, okay? But I expected better from you, okay? Very sad. Not me. Okay, I'll have you know, um, one, your problem is lefty Twitter, two. Is uh yeah no nah, fuck it no um so that's pretty much it <laughs> your boy uh your boy fucking uh fucking Omnilib is uh telling all the the gays not to buy guns meanwhile Vosh is out there telling them buy guns mm. just saying yeah. I mean I'm pretty sure isn't Destiny pro gun like I'm pretty sure he's buying like new guns now that he lives well, in Florida nah, it's just that it's just that he doesn't think that like there's a reason for like minorities oh, yeah. yeah oh no dude listen listen i love firearms okay but like <laughs> dude if you think dude if you think a whole bunch of like of any group if you think of if, like a bunch of conservatives or a bunch of like gay people if you think that like them rounding up like ars and some molotovs is gonna save them i, just, I got another thing coming okay i mean so do you it say worked we... for the afghanis yeah should we roll... there's a reason there's a reason the government doesn't know about my firearms okay like i'm just saying it worked for the afghanis it worked for the Viet Cong. it worked for the fucking like dude like the u.s doesn't fight guerrilla war as well yeah but that was like over like seas where we didn't know what the fuck like Bro, where anything we was, it, that was where you have halfway, halfway, halfway across the world literally halfway across the world where supply lines were stretched and we had to fucking fly all of our supplies and troops over now here in the good old U.S. of A, we have detailed maps. We know where everything is. We have fought guerrilla wars before here. Uh, and then pretty unsuccessfully. Uh, I, I, mean, I would, I would, I would like reason, to say, like... There's I a reason all the Indians are dead. Like, it, I'd say it's successful. <laughs> okay, I would like to say one thing is... 
If they're gonna start putting me in camps, I want to take a couple pigs out before they do. Okay. Oh yeah, I can easy, respect that easy, philosophy. Easy. I just don't think that's gonna happen. I I don't think that's realistic. All right, cool. Uh, have fun your uh fair tale land. Yeah. I mean, hey, if it does happen, fuck. If it does happen, I will give you personally, uh, Wordy, one thousand dollars. Okay. Okay. In the next like in the next like five years, okay. Wait, what are the what are the requirements? Um, uh, in the next five years, if they start putting queer people in camps. Yeah, if they if they start rounding them up, if there's like government policies uh, on the federal level, then yeah, sure. Oh no, the fucking that's the that's a bullshit argument. Or it should a be a significant amount of states. Like if if, if no, like, it should be if, a like, single instance. I I don't personally care either way because you know I'm not a yeah, there, if it's on the books if it's cares. on the books okay like hey we put queers in camps now okay yep most of the shit doesn't even have to be on the fucking books okay, okay. um cat well like uh, when I mean like on the for books it? like for example like I don't think there was any law or like official policy in like you know Serbia to start like shooting fucking Bosnians when I mean like on the books like it's kind of like an uh, it's a, a pretty well documented shit officially or unofficially you know oh well then yeah that's that's gonna be real easy like, obviously that's... the Serbians had a policy of like shooting Bosnians uh even they the, I don't know if they had like an official policy but you, you know it's one of those things look increased terrorist threatenings <laughs> shit's gonna get wild how does it just? Also, I'm right behind you, Kai. Okay. Yeah, I see the meters. Look, as we I all know, all I, all I'm hearing is that Viscus is anti firearms ownership for self defense. True. That's all I'm hearing. No, I literally just said like, hey, if like they're coming for you, okay, like you have no hope, but I totally support you buying a gun for like you know taking them all out. Uh, assuming that it is a uh, tyrannical state, not the current state, which is not tyrannical. You do realize that we're not. We're I not, hope you're listening. You do realize we're not worried about that. We're worried about more like um, small mobs of evangelicals. Yeah, if you're if you're trying to if they're trying to fucking lynch you, then fucking spray away. Listen, the fucking lynch mobs need to stop. Okay, and if that means dipshit fucking LGBT people oh, need to start spraying. <laughs> You start spraying these fucking lynch mobbers, okay? They have my fucking blessing. Dude, that means never game. In a video die. game, in a video game, in a video game, in a video game. Yeah, we need to get off this conversation. Yeah, yes. that meme is never going to die, and I love yeah. it so much. <laughs> oh, dude, okay. So, whatever happened to that one guy who was calling the AR-15 a fascist weapon? Um, I, I think he might still be watching. I don't know, definitely not a FBI. Fucking, you still here? Let me pull up the stream chat real quick. Anybody want a steel sledgehammer schematic? Mm, he no. said, didn't he say that he was uh, going to be, didn't he say that he was going to be uh, like reviewing the, the thing I sent him, which he totally is not, because that's like a million pages? No fucking clue. Uh, somebody said they are re be over your reading. Yeah, yeah that was him. that was him. Oh, here's that fucking pawn shop too. They always have good shit on. Here's the thingy. Definitely not a FBI BRV gonna read. They said that, and then they messaged for a while after. The meme is incorporated into official FBI documents. DJ Che, if that's actually true, you need to find that because holy shit. That would be hilarious if Destiny's fucking unhinged scree. <laughs> okay, you know so you what? Know, my uh, my CIA right. handler just contacted me. Apparently, that is true. Verified. Okay. Huh. So it's this cabinet's building. Always the libs. But it has to be done at night. So let's. You know what? Let's. There's a pawn shop. There's a pawn shop right across the street. Let's fucking loot that. And fucking wait for darkness. Joe, they did not get M16s. The M16 is an AR-15. Uh, the Cubans got the AR-10. And they only got a small batch of, like, I think it was 100. So it's kind of like, eh. 
it never, it, it could never have equipped, like, their, their entire army, you know? I'm pretty sure it was just meant for, like, uh, the Presidential Guard under Batista, so it, he only ordered, like, a hundred, or maybe it was a thousand. I forget. Alright. Okay, so there's an entrance from the top. Yep. There's two entrances from the top, actually. I want to check up here. Oh, there's a fucking dude following us from behind. Can't get up there. Bent over. That's oh, I got a single hit. Nice crit. Some bulls. Lumberjack. Yeah, that's true. It was it was the air platform. What's up, God Punk? Dude, I am salty that they're banning the fucking pistol braces. Okay, that's just bullshit. Okay. I wonder if I can. You know what? Hang on. I like how there was a dude doubting you about that. Just make your own? I mean, yeah, that's always an option. No, it's, it's still legal. Like, you, you, even if you make your own, like, it's still... It's not like, how it works. Like, the, the, the possession is what is illegal, not not the selling, necessarily. Just say, yeah, uh, I play too many video games. Yeah. There you go. It's not bad. You know what, I'll take it. Level 6 helmet helm thing. Listen, it's not gonna like abolish the NFA fully. We should at the very least remove short barreled rifles, okay? That's such a dumb fucking classification. Wish me luck. Luck. I think I know where you're going. Well, I survived. I didn't break anything. Nice. What in the fuck? There's a snake in this house. Yep. There's a snake in there, Luke's. Found another cooking pot. Dude, how many of, how many do we have of those fucking things? Thirteen, I think. The fuck? And why? I left one randomly in a fucking campfire somewhere. <laughs> oh shit! I need, to, spawn I need to order. I need to order two power cords for my PC. Yes, you do, dude. It's fucking ridiculous that we haven't been able to okay. game this whole time. Hey, Tina Fey, how you okay. doing? Uh, there we go. Boom. One on Amazon. Uh, I'm ordering it now. You, thank you, thank you, Viscos. Joe, Jesus. Joe said headache, a uh, hungover headache, trying to boot up my brain. That uh, this is not the stream for that. Um, fucking. You can just use like any one, right? Like I, you know, I can just use any cord, right? No. Don't be that fucking guy, Viscos. F look up your parts kit on fucking your parts uh, on uh, uh, my PSU. I don't know what my fucking PSU is. It's I, I think it's, uh, no, it's 650 watts. You, you, okay. you, you'll be fine. Just fucking, dude. I've, you know what? Just get a fucking... Yeah. He knows. Just get a power cord, dude. You'll be fine. Hey, Kai, uh, you got three duct tape. That's a card. No, yes, yes. If you do, oh, I can make that bat for you. Done. USB type C. Heart, if you want to wake yourself up really, what All you right, do is find minutes. one of those DJ YouTube, uh, Twitch channels. And you just <laughs> put <laughs> full <laughs> max. I'll get that. Else do I oh yeah, also I've come to the conclusion that yeah. I'm going to be keeping by AR fifteen. Oh, we uh we just had like a few just come in through that back door so far. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Yes, it is. Maggie, please get out of the face. Alright, All right, he's trying to get in there. He's not going to be able to. This is basically indestructible to them. 
got two minutes left on your bat, by the way. Dude, I need a browning eye power. Do you need it? And yes. this and this kids is what the conversation sounds like every month with Viscus. <laughs> yep. Ooh. Okay. More construction. Materials. Will it be your last one, Viscus? I've always wanted the Browning High Power. I've never really wanted another uh, pistol. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so you, sure. there's there's none after this that you want, really, right? Yeah, like, I've always wanted like all kinds of different rifles, but like. The Browning High Power is really the only pistol that's ever spoken to me, you know what I'm saying? The only sure. one? See, Cat, I I love different chicken places, and I love eating at them, but Raising Cane's is the only place that's ever spoken to me, you know? Right. Oh my god, dude, they don't have Raising Cane's down here in fucking Florida, dude. <laughs> I'm dying! I'm dying! What you go to do, uh, there's the gas station. Oh, what's it called? What's it called? Wawa? Um, oh, that place is so good. I've never been to Wawa, and it's, like, I'm scared of gas station food. Wawa is heaven in Florida. That is the the oasis of it all, okay? Alexander, I, Alexander 5 says, Hello, haven't played this game, but my dad loves this game. Hey, you know what? Uh... Oh, by the way, Caboose, I found you a hunting rifle. Thank me later. Oh, hell yeah. God damn it. I broke the lockpick at three seconds. Fuck it. I'm gonna try again. Ten seconds left on your bet. Fucking A, dude. That... Yeah, fuck that. There you go. Level five bat coming right up. I want a, I want a nice, like, leather stock rattle. But none are really speaking to me. There we go. Do we need to get you a separate room with that? We need to uh, modify this. Take my mod off of it. Hmm. Can I get it on that? Ooh, that one speaks to me. No, it won't. <laughs> See? Alright. There we go. Right. They'll, they'll be okay there. So, Wawa is this very specific so this um, is a gas station generation. chain in the like Florida, some other areas, and like based in Pennsylvania. Pretty much, I guess. Um, you got like some of the best fucking gas station food in the world. Ooh, both sides. One thing I discovered when I was on the road is uh, Bucky's. That's a that's a cool place. It's like a big gas station slash. Oh, coming around. Okay. Nice. All right. I went there to, uh, to Florida to see a guy I was dating at the time, and that was just like one of the peak parts of the experience. Do I have points? No. All right. All right, y'all. Big piece of rice. Don't make fair people move in Florida. You know, it hadn't really crossed my mind to do so. Oh. It's it's like Florida. Mm -hmm. so you still like fuck this. Ooh, this one Ooh, looks nice. I like how eventually the bodies just start flying because of all the crits that we're getting. Alright, so... It's not quite night yet, but... Actually, I'm pretty sure we will be able to activate it then. Yeah, because I'm not trying to fight a bear right now. I want to clear out... Uh, I'm going to clear this guy out. Because all of that, I still haven't, like, worked off my deficit from fucking... He's down. Ooh. Take it. Ooh.
All right, got an entrance. Oh, nice. I got a few people in here. steel sledge parts jesus christ just just a shotgun part it's all i want just one shotgun part okay uh wednesday is when i'm going to be getting the power cords here's hoping your shit still works actually no let's make it monday i'll pay the extra five dollars fuck it just five dollars yeah, for like the the shipping. Dude, thank God for Amazon. Okay. Oh, let's see. Daddy Bezos feeling your addiction. Yes. I wouldn't be surprised if Bezos was like, ah, yes, this person, white supremacist, hell yeah, I'll make that shipping speed faster. Bezos, Bezos just came when you thanked him for that. I, I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere when you said when you said thank God for Amazon, somewhere in the distance, Bezos just came. <laughs> um. Okay, so Cat, the generator so is back here. All right. Yeah, this is good scouting. Like, when we fucking activate it, it's right here. So, we're going to turn that on when we do the quest. So, we could just come through this back wall. This was two blocks to pop. And we're right there. All right. So, um, I like the sound of that. Yeah, you know what? Um... Again, yeah, we'll be able to just hop the wall. I hear somebody over here. Is it zombie or is it? Yeah. All right, come here, buddy. Bro, did you see that the fucking new Century Arms AK is getting a fucking recall already? No, because I don't follow the gun industry like you, and I was born into it. Damn. You've got a problem. I do. I acknowledge it, and uh, I will do nothing about it. That's fair. Have you ever considered getting like a less expensive hobby, like Magic the Gathering? I'm pretty sure Warhammer is uh, less expensive than uh, guns. I mean, it's, it's still expensive. And but. here we go with the Warhammer. It's okay. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not feeling that autistic today. Okay. All right. Look at those heads just pop. I just found a can of tuna somewhere. Near, somewhere Neil Brain Brain just came. Smash that guy's face. Kind of weird how all the T's just do stamina regen. Okay. All the basic ones, at least. Another cooking pot. This is upstairs. Let's see. A little bit of ammo here, a little bit of ammo there. I do sometimes wonder if I'm autistic. <laughs> I'd be real surprised if you weren't. I just realized it's way fucking past 3 a.m. What time is it? 
It's like 330. 525 here. All right, so it's 325. All right. Fucking then. Californians. It's already 630 for me. Yeah, then let's let's call it here, Cat, and we'll do the night mission the next time. All right, cool. <laughs> I gotta, are, we, are we off stream now? No. Not yet. No. No. Right. no. Okay. <laughs> No, we most assuredly aren't. <sighs> Fucking Christ. <laughs> um, and then he just starts ranting about the bourgeois again. <laughs> Literally, yes. Um. Oh, okay. There's the chat badges for audio and video. Fucking users and shit like that. Um. All right. Fuck it. There we go. Later, punk. Take care of yourself. Uh, che isn't Wawa the NB equivalent of Mama and Dada or Papa? <laughs> fuck off. Um, Joe just said, the fuck is a Wawa? Um, uh, all right, we're going to raid over to Public Loser. Fucking, I'm going to do food and stuff like that. Um, you know, we'll see how many people I pissed off. Again, apparently that one dude was like seriously like on team Bo. Like, fuck, it. whatever. He was really obsessed with that. Yeah, like I don't know. It is what it is. Um, let's see. Where's my OBS stuff? OBS stuff down here. Chat goes back here. Put you people where you belong. Um. All right, there we go. And then. Close fucking Steam. Yeah, uh, Wordy, you might want to get a refund on fucking seven days. Yeah, I already submitted it. Cool. Fucking. I'll, I'll wait for something else then. <laughs> um. Yeah, we do. You know. Yeah, I I have a thing for Zomboid, so we'll uh we'll get you in one of those games. Yeah. Viscous, thanks for. Well, we'll see if I get banned yet. Fucking. Bye, everyone. Okay.